Okay. Uh, last week, the party found themselves marveling at Ren's astonishing return from the enemy camp just outside Haverhill, returning with Lamless's scouts, Ramesh and Akame, who were both malnourished and clearly been mistreated. They brought some strategic info, including that the Vigilant are mainly not fanatics and regular townsfolk and farmers pressed into service by fear and propaganda uh, with no desire to fight and kill their neighbors and people that they've known their whole lives. As Ren and Octavian discuss the situation with Lamless, Persai and B go to find Varn, who had wandered off to consider his position. The bee turned into a bloodhound to sniff his trail while Versailles used her tracking skills to notice claw marks in a nearby tree where they found the goblin. The party discussed together and agreed to move towards the hole, bidding Lamless farewell. Adney, who was convinced to return with Lamless, bid each party member a heartfelt farewell and drew Ren a map of a tunnel system that will lead them beneath the keep. Following Adney's directions, the party crosses the Arvin River and finds a storm drain leading into the hold. The passage was narrow, and the party overcame many obstacles, but eventually emerged into a stone sewer system directly beneath the keep, where they find odd barrels of an ale with the label Goblin King being stalked by the former proprietor of the Barking Roof Inn in Hannonhold, Solomon Kendall, who Octavian recognizes. He explains that the beer is part of an illicit tap room frequented by goblins and outcasts and run by one mag half tooth. They learn that the Vigilant can be bought with coin, and that any free thinkers have been driven underground or out of town. And as we begin, Mag would shout to Solomon, Do you suppose they know about Ortelia? And Solomon shakes his head and says, The Queen's Maid. You know the title is old-fashioned. Lady's Maid is also a secretary, advisor, confidant. She's up there somewhere. New Ethelind, well, nice lady. She would come into the inn Mondays and Fridays for lunch to write in her journal or read and kept to herself. Sad thing what's happening topside. And they share a shake of the head with each other. Sorry, I was looking something up. Um I'm trying to fix my <laughs> I'm trying to fix my music. The volume is so fiddly. I so tried to open up like the player for Spotify. Can't even do that. I mm. reopened the my Windows app for it. Yeah. It, it just says try try again later. So well, yeah, I think I think that whole service is down. Yeah, so. I appreciate you trying. Yeah, it's whatever. I do not mean to burst your bubble when I say this, though. Mm. I feel like two or three people listen to the music. Yeah, it's fine, but it. You know, it, I'm so used to it. Yeah, me too. I can't not have it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's fun. Play it in your Firefox. You'll be okay. Yeah, this is what I did. The problem, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters what fucking browser I use it for. I think the whole service uh, is no, 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 no. That's not what I mean. I mean, <laughs> play it local. As in, like, yeah, play it lo like, just use YouTube or whatever. Just find some fantasy mix and you'll be okay. Or listen to the like, <laughs> Go Lords 1 soundtrack. Um, do people actually play the whole session with, with no music at all? Yeah. That seems, it's, I don't know. It would bother me, but I respect Like, it. Or, I respect or, it. or I listen to my own music. Yeah, that's, I that's just, course. I cannot stand anything that's not high APM, APM uh, BPM. You know, well, I would listen to my own at that point, but guess what? I use Spotify, and it doesn't <laughs> fucking work. Oh. Uh, I have so. a lot of issues sparsing like this, like sounds apart, especially dialogue if there is being like muddled with other things. That's fair. So. That's why, like, most music, music, like most music, I can't pick the lyrics out of. Mm. Oh, is that is that why lyrics bother you so much? Yeah, like the the tone and like how well the lyrics, like the vocals, not necessarily the lyrics, but how well the vocals fit with the music is important. Because mm -hmm. to me, it's just another instrument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, th that makes sense. Because, like, if you already have... Like, people who have fine and good hearing say that a lot of the music I listen to, they can't tell, like, they can't distinct the words, and that bothers them. So I, I imagine it's, like, tenfold for you. Oh, yeah, it's real bad. Anyway. Listen, listen to the fucking Guild Wars 1 soundtrack. I know where you live. It's by Jeremy Soule, yeah. 
nice. Yeah, it's the um, he's the composer for uh, the most like the last couple of Elder Scrolls games too. Oh yeah, the, you know what? That just made me remember is that like the composer for the Guild Wars One soundtrack, at least the Prophecy soundtrack, is the same guy who made the Tiso soundtrack. As the Prophecy, that's ins- that's, cr- that's crazy. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's why like uh, like Guild Wars One sounds so close to Morrowind because they came mm-hmm. around and run like the same time. Interesting. Yeah. this point I think there's extreme sarcasm in this or what's going on uh, I don't know what would be sarcastic about so I'm gonna assume that we're not being being that because I'm the queen doing that that is true <laughs> and then I'll gaslight you into thinking that I wasn't being sarcastic <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry what's gaslighting <laughs> I can't believe Justin thinks gaslighting is real. Yeah. It's a fun word. Shut up. Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. Exactly. What's that first word? <laughs> He's trying to gaslight yeah, yeah. me about gaslighting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Anywho, so folks were talking, and I wasn't paying. <laughs> I don't think anybody was paying attention. Uh, God, I always get a shitload of emails, like right at nine o'clock. I don't know why. All right, so uh, um, I can't believe you have notifications on for your email. I have them off and like everything fucking put into a spam folder. Well, I get the you're emails on the job I need. Hunt, you kind of have to be on the ball with some of that shit. Oh, good yeah, luck. Yeah, one good luck. Um, and two, this is why you have folders. Last oh, week. Oh, the, <laughs> yeah, last week. The party found themselves marveling. No, I'm not going to read it again. Uh, basically, Octavian, uh, Mag is just talking to Solomon, and they're mentioning, just in passing, uh, the woman who uh, uh, Elswith was talking about, uh, her her uh, secretary slash lady's maid, and they've just confirmed that she is uh, uh, alive. Hmm. They mentioned the name uh, Ortelia. So... But this is I don't recall ever hearing about this person before though. Oh, you might have missed that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh when you had one of the meetings w- with the queen, uh they were talking about um landless scouts and like other prisoners and stuff and and she was lamenting that she wasn't able to get Ortelia out of the out of the hole. Mm. She was it's... mailed her severed finger. Oh, okay. With a, with a taunt by Rosalind the Bird. Mm. That's her. Thank you, Carter. Uh, this Ortelia. Do you happen to know where she is? Um, Mag shakes her head. Uh, and uh, Solomon says, What I've heard is that uh, she is alive. And the archivist has her doing his bidding. Uh, she's very good at filing papers, managing the archive, so he's found a use for her. So she still yet draws breath. But likely not here in the hold. No, I believe that she is serving the archivist directly. Uh, not far from above our heads. Hmm. It would behoove us to perhaps rescue her. Well, they do travel. Uh, at times, uh, to Arvis and back to the Holy Justice, which has been rebuilt. That's good to hear. Yes, it's the least they can do after destroying, after partially destroying it themselves. Yes, the people will need a place when this is over to rediscover their community, so perhaps it can serve a purpose yet. The point of church. Indeed. Um, Solomon comes up to you, Safeguard, and says, I can't tell you how much it means that the first Spear of Hannon has returned to liberate us. That's my job, after all. 
Well, frankly, actually, I failed at my job. My job was to protect you from this ever happening. Uh, and for that, I apologize. You can't blame yourself, Safeguard. This is something that none of us could have foreseen. Even those with the gift of sight. Uh, um, nothing you say will stop me from blaming myself, but thank you. All that matters now is that it yeah, can correct. be done. All that, all that matters is that we can deal with it now. Speaking of, we need to get into the hold. We waste, we accomplish nothing talking here, sitting here and talking about our plans. Correct, no dilly, correct, no dilly dallying. Let's get this over with. As they say. Let's get this over with. I have some tyrants to kill. Um, Solomon, um, he puts down his, his mug and he says, you mean to, you mean to challenge them tonight? They will likely be having their hands full in Haverhill at the moment. Now is the time. Now is the time that they least would expect it. Um, why? Why is there something that we should know that's happening tonight? No, no, just the day of our deliverance is at hand. It's it's wonderful. And Mag says that's enough ale for you tonight, Solomon. You should get back to stocking the barrels. Take a break from your revelry. Octavian uh, will feel a tug at his cape. And Saloon's gonna be looking up at him, be like, Octavian, are you server ready? As ready as we'll ever be. Uh, honestly, I'm don't, not sure. Don't worry but... about not being ready. Go in if you're not ready. You'll learn more that way. But what if they have magic and. You have magic. You have magic. Well, yeah, but like, for example, the one time where I got super scared. You guys couldn't see in the darkness. What if they have that and you guys can't see anything? Doesn't matter, we'll push through it. Then we will fight in the shade. <laughs> <laughs> they can throw all their tricks, but it will do them no good if they have no hands to cast their spells. Yeah. And look, little one. It is better to go down fighting than going down kneeling. Yeah, because we have to fight. So everyone else can be happy. Yes. I know you are scared. I am Yes. Scared, but I do not let it bother me. I let it strengthen me. Okay. Oh, um, she, uh... Opens her bag, like next to her, and uh, gives you back your greater potion. Oh, keep it. Oh, okay. And she puts you. it back. That is for you, in case you need it, or somebody else that is down needs it. Stephard and I have our own abilities. Ren is very fast. Versailles and Varn hit at range. That is for you. Okay. Thank you. Alright. Um, so. Uh, if I remember correctly from last session, based on Adney's map, we kind of need to be going in this general direction. Let me pull up... Uh, would you do the point again? In, like, this general Correct. direction? Correct. Yes, okay. indeed. So we probably need to go through this door. Unless um, there's... Unless that's not attached anywhere. Uh, which door? The, this one? Isn't that a door? Uh, it is. Um, as you are discussing this with Saloon and Safeguard, and you're kind of looking at the door, um, uh, you would actually hear uh, a knock at that door. Open up, Mag! We're here for your donation to the cause! This mag would slam a tanker down and call out, Bastards, I paid them last week. Uh, we, we, we are closed. Come back tomorrow. Yes. I'm, I'm going to, like, 
approach it quietly and <clears throat> I'm gonna say open it. Um Solomon would say, No, if they see you here, you'll lose the element of surprise. That's fine. I want them to know that I'm here. Watch them cower and run from this city as they know that the justice of Hanan is here. Uh, who? Meg, who, who's in there? She just kind of lo looks at you. Um, are you, are you, are you flinging open the door? Yeah, I'm flinging open the door. Great. Uh, as you open the door. Uh, I'm, I'm going to fucking take out my spear and shield. I'm not, I'm not wasting any time. Uh, as you open the door, you would see three figures there. Um, and... Um, they would say, as you're opening it, they'd say, We heard that halfling bard performing again. I know no one would listen to him if they weren't drunk on your goblin swill, so open up! And Safeguard How, flings what, the door uh, open. Actually, uh, what, what, why does this door open? Um, Towards them, or... Um... That door would open... Uh... In towards you, it in. opens. Yeah, it opens in. Toward, it opens in? Okay. Then I'll just fling it open. Yeah. And <clears throat> I assume they're, like, banging up on it, and they're, like, right up next to it, right? Uh, one of them was, yes. Yeah, uh, the one that's, like, in front of the door, I'm gonna, like, like pull my shoulder inward, and with my shield, I'm gonna fucking bash him to the ground. Wow. Uh, let's make a attack roll. Just like a regular attack roll, uh, with advantage. Okay. I feel like prize, got... bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely got that. Just not expecting. Oh, well, on arm strike, I guess. Okay. Oh my god. Hmm. Um. So you're gonna try and grab him with your with your free arm, and 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 you're trying to shield bash him. Well, I'm not trying to grab him. I'm just, like, fucking running at him and just trying to knock him on his ass. Okay, yeah, so you definitely, like, um, knock him back a little bit. Uh, he doesn't fall, and the other two behind him take a step back in shock. Are What's you just gonna sit there and fight me? What? What's this, then? You hired a new god? That's the first spear of Hannon, you idiot! Run! <clears throat> Are they running? Um, would we like an order of operation? Sure, we can we can roll like an initiative just to see. <laughs> Safeguard one v three? Question mark. <laughs> oh. Can you like reveal? Or are we doing theater of the mind? Or do you have like stuff down in that area? Are they not? They're well, the it's not layer. revealed. It's not oh, revealed. My... First oh, off. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm wicked. Sorry. No, you're good. Oh, goody. Sorry about that. <laughs> I put him on the token layer. I thought everybody could see. Yeah. Well, we, we have to be able to see into yes. that part of the layer. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm fucking ready. Let's go. Ellis, how are the goblins reacting to this whole situation? Um, They're kind of uh, amused at the, at the moment. All right. They don't look like they're ready to jump in and, and, and start fighting anybody. I, I, I mean, Varn is over there still fucking telling stories so yeah. i'm just trying to figure like, out i mean that that's fine like, they, they, they are weak lackeys like i don't think alice meant for us to kill these people but uh i i need to prove a point to the dm about how i am <laughs> i am not holding back <laughs> uh well anybody who's going to want to take action uh go ahead and roll initiative if you like run takes his action to pinch the bra uh, bridge of his nose and say some people have no fucking sense and that is all i'm gonna do <laughs> <laughs> nice. Barn looks over his shoulder and just says, "I got gold." Yeah, that's fair, but. Ugh. So when you want to roll or not? I I have a plan. I promise. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's see. I'm just watching from behind. I have it in there in case I need it, but I think it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Did Did it work? It did. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Um, great, yeah, so, um, uh, so, yeah, Safeguard does their thing, 
Uh, and then this guy who's who was safeguard kind of shoved a little bit. Uh, he's just looking in shock, and 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 he says, he says, the, fir the first spear. Of what, Mag? What you what you want about? And 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 he looks like he's holding an action, and then that brings us to Salome. I would like to Eldritch Blast. Okay, you'll need to get into a, a line of sight with them. But I'm sure okay. okay. He is next to Safeguard. I would yeah, suggest you use... I would, your not I would the guy... Sorry. I would sorry, also like. suggest that you use like non-lethal damage. Aww. Or okay. not non-lethal damage, but like non-lethal spells. I don't want to kill them. Uh, not this guy. Um, um, so do we want to burn actual spells before we get to the real fight? I mean, like, the whole person would be fine. Um, yeah, or, I mean, Eldritch Blast is fine, I guess. They can probably take a hit. Um, Saloon, I just want to let you know, not the guy that says Solomon Kendall. That's a good guy. It's the three oh. guys outside the door. Here? Yeah, if you do, yeah, well, yeah, if you move up a little bit, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, Alright, yeah. I'll, okay. I'll hit the lady. Why are there two saloons? Are there? Uh, yeah. We fixed it. You're drunk in a tavern. There's two saloons. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I only have cantrips. I want to save my spells. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so um, yeah. roll your blast. So are you shooting at the person like in the back? With the, With the red hair. Okay, great. Um, That's just damage. That's a roll. Oh, yeah, sorry. Hang on. <laughs> we can keep that damage roll, though. It's been two weeks. It's all good. 19. Ooh, okay, uh... A 19 would hit, and for 13 damage, uh, before they can even run, uh, they drop the ground. <laughs> well, you got one more. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Sorry, I, I need to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so, 11 probably doesn't hit, right? Um, an 11 on this guy would miss, that's right. Okay. Alright. Wait, are they dead? Or are they just, like, prone? Uh, the, the one in the, the back. The, the woman is dead. Okay, great. Okay, so I'm gonna. No, they'll get opportunity attack. Never mind. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, Remember what oh, I told you at work today? <laughs> Someone's getting out all her no, aggression. Can I, can I tell you guys? Can I tell you guys what it I was told? <laughs> so, Lane was checking someone out at work today, and I was like, uh, I need to kill someone today. <laughs> and then she was like, Don't say that out loud in public. I was like, Oh no, I'm talking about D&D. &D. <laughs> 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 Thankfully, what I, I say wanna... every time I'm oh. going and committing murder too. <laughs> I... <laughs> Sorry about that. I know it's probably against you guys' morals, but you'll understand. Don't uh, morals. Don't worry about it. <laughs> At... Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> what are those? Say, say. Whenever I say something like that at the register, I gotta say "end game, end game," <laughs> <laughs> or, or ironically, or both. Hit him with both. Ironically, end game. Oh, like um, um, after session, if you're if you have time, I want to tell you the story about how I picked a fight with with uh, the CEO of this company on on LinkedIn about uh, socialized healthcare. Okay. Uh. Is it my turn? Yes, it is. Uh, brings us to safeguard. Whack, I guess. <laughs> whack, 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 whack. <laughs> <clears throat> Actually, I'm gonna push past this person. Can I push them out of my way? Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna cast Spare the Dying on this person. Okay. No! No! We want the- we want them alive. Right. They're already you dead. You have two others! Okay. They're- um, yeah, they're already <laughs> dead. So they are- no, they're stabilized. No! Ah. <sighs> Fine. Let's safeguard do their thing. This um, I wanna- um, I wanna tell info. you- I wanna tell you guys something that I hope doesn't horrify you, but I read an article about how to make, uh, combat more interesting, and it said you can give your enemies. I might be, I might be trying yeah, that but a bit. do you want to do that for 20 dudes? No, I don't. All but the time? I, I, <laughs> I think in this case, yeah, with a, uh, you know, safeguard running up and quickly spare the dying, I think that's quite logical in universe that that would work. Hmm. Same and round and I'm everything? A, you know I'm I mean? going to, like, um, buckle up with my shield right here, like, blocking formation, and say, so I'm going to suggest that you get inside before you end up like she did. And stay that way. Okay. Luna will smile at them. 
Do you want like an intimidation check? Uh, you know what? Let's do that. Because why not? Just uh. Thirteen. Okay. okay, great. Uh, you you feel intimidating. I I mean I'm all I'm always intimidating, mm. but uh, <clears throat> do my words portray that? Um, so this, this person, uh, whose turn is next, uh, would say, uh, oh, all right, all right, there's, there's no reason to, there's no, and then he books it. That motherfucker. And I'll give you some, some of that there. Um, so that, and, uh, he is going to actually. The saloon want to take an attack of opportunity. <laughs> May I? Can I? You could. It oh would my have, gosh, to, be with a, it have okay. to be with a melee weapon, but yeah, you can do that. Be stab him. Have... You got this. Chill stab, guy, stab. right? Yeah, I got no, it. She too. might have a uh, warcaster. Uh, I don't think, I don't think I do. I don't think she has any fates. But uh, I, I have feet. Like I have. We have great strength of feet. Anybody know the reference? Yes, I do. <laughs> so she's got yeah, no, feet. I don't. I have like. Pack Boon, Eldritch yeah, Implications. Pick one of your like melee that. weapons and Give a little stabby stab. Uh, stab, stab. Stab, stab, stab. Safer, we're going to attack of opportunity, too. 20. Oh, yeah, uh, I would. Uh, well, uh, I mean, so you gave him an 23? order. Uh, well, I was going to say, you gave him an order and he was walking by you. So he was like, I, I could roll deception. If he was he was like, oh, okay. I'll, and then he didn't book it till he got around the corner. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It's up to you. I mean, you've got reach. Right? Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you have do you have ten foot reach? Uh, not with this weapon, no. It's a spear. Okay. But I could throw it at him. Okay. You yeah. can't make a ranged hey. attack with attack of opportunity. That's true. Oh yeah. Yeah, That's I'm gonna true. rule safeguard does not get attack. Opportunity. Yeah. But saloons. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Saloons. You just want to rule that? I, I, I. If that's okay. I would say roll insight, but uh, like, it already yeah. happened. So. No, no. Go ahead and roll insight. I like that. Okay. That's like that's like way that's like way better. Wait, do I, do I get a 16. Stab you can tell that he's, like, ready to book it. He is ready to book it. Okay, yeah, so, so I smacked him. We can take that. Well, let's resolve the... Yeah, saloon resolve dagger. saloons first. So, yeah, so saloon, that, that hit, could you click the dagger and that'll roll damage? Uh, six. Six. Okay, so six damage. You see, So you stick the dagger right in his side as he's running by and you see him clutch that. Now there's blood dripping out. Uh, as Safeguard chucks the lance, which will connect with a 23. Uh, does that do 9 plus 8? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. you have improved Divine Smite, you do a D8 of radiant yep. damage on every hit. Uh, oh, wait, I didn't... Aww. The lance Safer did it. The lance would impale him into the wall. <laughs> and he's actually... It, it hit with so much force, he's actually like, his little feet are dangling and twitching. <laughs> yes! Like, I would like to withdraw my dagger. Gun. What do you mean withdraw it? <laughs> like from his body? Get out of from him. His yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from his body. <laughs> uh, okay, and now that will bring us to Versailles. Versailles, quite a scene is unfolded in front of you. I don't understand why, like, they don't just listen. Why do we have to prove things to them? Mm. Why do we have to kill them before we do this? I fucking warned you. Y'all didn't listen. Mm. <laughs> I, I, I mean, we've killed, we've killed two of them in front of the, the important one. So I, I, I hope they don't try anything. <laughs> so, Versailles, you I, doing anything? Jesus. Just, just Wasn't. Wasn't he holding an action? What wasn't um somebody holding an action? This guy, the guy that's still alive. That's true. He was. So yeah, but can you hold an here? action when you're pushed out of the way? Um, his turn came after that. In my head cannon. But um, I you will say, say that he chose not to take it or whatever. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I am going to say that because safeguards turn after where safeguard gave the directive and the intimidation came after that. So I believe they're. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. So now they're. We, yeah, they're like mental want, status. Do we want to drop initiative because? 
Um, I will say, yes, that, that uh, you know, if... Yeah, yes, that's fine. Um, Versailles, you can... Are you just kind of holding an action, or, or did you have anything planned? Uh, yeah, she wasn't really going to do anything. She's too far away to get a clear shot on anything. All she knows is there's a lot of blood, and she's not yeah. sure what the hell just happened. Okay, um, other Vigilance stabilized. Uh, Octavian? Let's finish this round. Um, I'm just going to move up, and I'm going... He's got, like, a pitchfork or something. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna hide my dagger behind my back. Okay. I didn't do it. <laughs> so this guy, what, what kind of weapons does he have? Alice? Uh, I'm sorry, what? But what kind of weapons does the guy who's still standing have? Am I muted? No, yeah, you said pitchfork, I said yes. Sorry. Oh, okay. I, I didn't hear you. No, um, my bad, sorry. I'm gonna hold out my hand, and I'm gonna say, hand it over a very stern, authoritative voice. Uh, yeah. Hand, hand over his pitchfork. Yeah, so as we come back around to the top, uh, at his turn, he gets down on his knees and hands you the pitchfork. Take it. And I'm going to hold it. He goes, good man. Now get up. Follow us. I mean... Given the fact that there were literally two deaths within six seconds, I'm pretty <laughs> sure you could have walked up and given him a little girl voice and said, Can I have that, please? And he probably would have gone and given it over to you as fast as he could. Octavian only has one voice. <laughs> I have yeah. many voices. Octavian doesn't. <laughs> um, Got one Octavian. voice on this button. <laughs> God damn it, I'm going to use it. Um, but yeah, so... Just being like, all right, you you can keep following keep following our orders, and you don't end up like the other two guys. So get inside, bitch. I mean, the other one's alive now. Unconscious, but yes. Okay, um, so. where um, where do you want them to go? Like, right, uh, right probably back this way, okay. away from the group, so we can question them. Mm -hmm. Become a phobonymous real fast, and just take his blood. Okay. <laughs> Throughout this whole thing, Varn is just looking over his shoulder, annoyed, and then turns around and goes back to his story. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Varn. Anyway, I started blasting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, some of the goblins. Uh, any anybody with high enough passive reception would would notice them. Uh, drinking uh, a toast. Uh, more dead human. Vigilant. Ah! <laughs> They're drinking. Is anybody going to drag the unconscious one in, or are you just leaving their body there? I think that's what Safeguard is doing, but okay, yeah, like, I got to oh. control it. Uh, safeguard. You want them like? Over, over here, next, next to the other one, or what do you want? You want him up by you? Push the talk. Uh, okay, ready? Oh. Um, all it says I'm speaking, hello? Hello? Oh, Hi, good. now we hear you. Okay. Um, I'd like to announce that all players can now control both Vigilant tokens, so please move them where you will. Oh, awesome. Um, snuff them into barrels. The, this dead one right here, if I can still spare the dying it, I don't know if it's been too long. Um, That guy, you, do you want to run a medicine check? Yeah, yeah, let's run a medicine check. Just to kinda <laughs> oh my go. gosh, hey, can I check his pockets? Uh, one second. Uh, okay. Uh, two. Yeah, with the two, you you're not sure, but but you notice a big gaping wound uh, in his side from Saloon's dagger, and then your spear has kind of gone. Your spear's gone right through his sternum. So I look down. I look down. I look at Solomon and I say, "Oops, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to do that in your tavern, good sir." <laughs> uh, but uh... trust me, I wouldn't have done that normally. He ran. Uh, Mag comes over and she's like, this is going to be very, very bad for business. <clears throat> what do you mean? 
you just have to leave the story with there was somebody murdered by the first spear of Hannon in my tavern. Like that fixes it all. Like your your <laughs> reputation will be fine. If anything, business will be booming after you know I'm done killing more of these people. Um, um, Warpos, see, see that hole? See that hole in the wall? That's where their spear went through the guy. Um, 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 Warpos is going to jump from barrel to barrel, and he's going to say, um, um, "Think of it, Mags. Uh, just think for a second of uh, the business possibilities." Uh, I could write a new epic ballad um, about this event, about the battle at uh, Mag's Tavern, where the first spear of Hannon slew the vigilant, and we'll show we can charge people to look at the hole, and you can create Which a new framed. and you can create a new panini sandwich in Safeguard's honor. I would prefer a drink named after me. Uh. And uh, uh, the half tooth looks like she's sort of considering the business possibilities of it, um, as as Octavian drags the other one to the to the far side of the room. Anyway, I have people to interrogate. You know, if there was a like, imagine we were like actually like famous role players, uh, there'd be a drinking game for every time you did an interrogation. <laughs> Amen. Did a what? Like for there us. would be a, there would be a drinking game for every time we'd interrogate somebody. It seems like it's every week. <laughs> well, we'd be pretty drunk. Yeah. Well, First, yeah. First-hand info is the best kind of info. That's right. <laughs> I've got vodka. Well, mm -hmm. I guess what the enemy's plans are. Just capture them and have them tell you what the plan is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Um. Excellent. Yes. So you have so, uh, um, two. I'll bump like a hit point in in the lady so that she wakes up. I want to talk to her first. Uh, sure. Um, she she would uh, regain consciousness, and uh, she sort of looks down at her at, at her armor, which I assume is quite like uh, blackened with some strange uh, multicolored rings uh, from that Eldritch blast uh, where where it did the damage, knocking her down. Uh, and she and she looks up at you and says. What, what what happened to me? You'll find out. I have a question first. How did it feel to be embraced by death? What question? Death? Am I did? Is this? Is this? Is this you the, did die. Is this the plane of Elysium? No, you're fine. You're alive. You're on the prime material plane. The prime. Oh. Home. Oh. Hannah. Oh. She seems very disoriented. Having just died. Yeah, fair. Sorry. <laughs> so, listen here. You're gonna give me and my friend all of the information that we ask for. And then I won't kill you for real. He, she, she looks and she says, Your, your safeguard. Yeah, so you better fucking listen. I, 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 I'm just in it for for coin. You understand? That's 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 why we're doing business in the tavern here. It's that we're not we're not really part of the of the. Um. Yeah, that's that's not what I heard. I heard you <laughs> barking down a man when he's down. That is cowardly. You are a coward. Uh, what you are you do referring not to? You you do not. Stand in front of aversion as you see it. Oh. That is why you work for the vigilant. Not for the coin. You do it for the coin because it's easy coin. That's weak. You're weak. She looks like she's like very emotional. You know, she closes her eyes and she scrunches up her face and she says, I'm sorry. you truly wish to apologize, you can do so by answering our questions. You will be doing us a great service, and you will save lives in the meantime. Perhaps even some of your own comrades will be spared based on what you tell us. Tell us, do you know anything about what they're summoning on the hold? Um, she looks up at you, uh, you know, with some her tears welling up in her eyes a little bit. She says, uh, 
summon, summoning the, it's the, the, the elf's in charge of everything. You, you must know that. He's, he's, he's bringing tear to Hannon. That's what we were told. I, <laughs> I am bringing tear to Hannon. <laughs> <laughs> the only tear of being back to Hannon is through my spear. I mean, he has the loyalty of some of the clerics and, and the paladins who remain. I, I yeah, and that's why he's summoning a demon. I would just like to know what fucking kind. A, de a demon? Yeah, Tyr's you fucking not... heard me. Tyr is not a demon. You're right, Tyr is not a demon. Very, very... And and guess, and guess what? The, the Vigilant aren't loyal to Tyr. They are loyal to power and its pursuit. We, I, we don't seek power. And and and, and she kind of looks up, kind of over the over the thing, and she says, "Is is is Reginald dead?" Yeah. He was given explicit orders to stay put. Well, no, he was given explicit orders, and he and he paid the price for disobeying them. I would like to have been nicer with that damage, but <clears throat> unfortunately, I get a little carried away sometimes. And That's she... not. The, that is not the protector that you know, right there. I point to that. This is what the invasion of my homeland has done to me. Um, as you say this, like uh, you would notice, uh, Warpos would jump onto the barrel behind you and begin sort of playing their loot along with with your speech. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Adding oh, great man, just... emphasis to it, punctuating your sentences with flourishes of the strings. <laughs> the queen has been cast down, <laughs> and we will rise once again. Mm -hmm. um, um, she nods. She says, "I got, I got nothing against the queen." Oh, really? Is that why you work for religious zealots who punish those who speak out against the obvious tyranny placed upon them? Oh, how, well, how, I mean, many, a, a lot of us don't have any choice. You understand? It's server. There it's is choice. always a choice. You chose to blind yourself. I chose. I chose the easy way. I know. Are you going to I, kill I, me? Not, hard way is I the most rewarding. I cannot look down on you for doing what you did. I understand, and I understand wanting the easy way out. <clears throat> uh, she but knows, hopefully. I will never stop fighting. As long as my brothers and sisters are bleeding next to me, bleeding into the ground. Um, Warpos plays a power chord. <laughs> <laughs> we bleed into the same earth. <clears throat> um, she says, um, um, speaking of which, and from under her armor, you see she's still bleeding quite heavily, having one hit point. You'll you'll live. I I need put, a, put, a a doctor. Put pressure on it. Um, take um, off your scarf. Put pressure on it. Um, Solomon would run over, and you know, unless somebody stopped him, he'd begin administering basic first aid. Thank you, Solomon. Can't have them passing out on us now. You say, uh, one one dead vigilant is a song. Two, uh, <laughs> he sort of. It is a trend that will continue. Now, nah. just not in came, here. Now, the way that you came, does that lead into the hold? And if so, where? Um, they say uh, she she would explain that the path that they came uh, leads out to the street, but there's many hidden paths. Then, do you know of one that leads into the hold or very close to it? Um, Ren, are you listening to this? Um, Ren is, I'm, I don't know. No, no, I just meant to say, uh, Ren, you, you know, with your, with your passives, uh, you would remember that in the, uh, scroll or book or whatever, was it a book that Annie gave you? She wrote down her stuff in, like, a couple spare pages of my journal. But I knew it was I a book, yeah. Passed off. Yeah, yeah, so you would notice that, that, that she did indicate, um, a particular storm grate that opens right near the throne room, sort of in, like, a hallway. You would, you would, you would have some information that clearly this woman the what? 
there's a storm drain that that opens near the throne room into a hallway. Um, so I'm just letting you know that as you're listening to the interrogation, they're asking if there's a way into the hold. You would think you might have that information already. Right. right. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get an idea of which direction we need to go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. She'd say or if they know at all. Yeah. Yeah. She'd say you know that uh, sh she could get you close, but you know the way that that she goes. Um, yeah, it's more obvious. Fine. The, the princess right, obvious. Right. Yeah, the princess had a hidden path. No one else knew about really, or no one else used. We we did such does, like if safeguard looks at the map and does safeguard know where we are and a way through? I mean, they're from here. I I could look. Uh, if you want me to look while Octavian continues to ask questions. Yeah, I mean, because yeah. that's what I feared once we got in. You would be leading us. I'll read that, and I can probably roll a history check. Sure. Flash mark DM. Sure, sure. Do I know where to go? Yeah, I mean, from here, uh, I mean, in your many travels, I'm sure you would have been down here at some point, you know, chasing bandit or something. That's below Safeguard's yeah, um, pay grade. But... Or, chase, or chasing the Queen's daughter, because we all know Safeguard definitely knew about her spot. <laughs> That's possible. Yeah, I mean, so like, I mean, you would... Um, so let me say this. Adney doesn't know that you know, but if you if you say you knew, <laughs> then okay. You know what I mean? Like, sh she thought it was her it was her secret and nobody knew. <laughs> you know, like how, how she snuck out. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but yeah, uh, with a 20 especially, uh, you feel confident that you know the way that they're referring to, and that you know that there are other ways that go directly under the, the castle itself, mm -hmm. rather than, like, the street side. I should okay. be able to find a pretty good way to get us close, at least as close as we need. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ron. So, um, as far as this person's answer as to the way that they came did they come down like through this way or did they come down through this way um so may i um i'm just gonna reveal the map is that is that gonna is that gonna spoil anything uh, you can reveal whatever portion of the map you feel is relevant yeah um because let me think so um Let me, let me think. So there's stairs over here, right? Um, yeah, so you would... Uh, you, you, you're asking which direction Safeguard thinks they need to go? No, no, um, which, which way this person came from, so we know which way not to go. Oh, oh, oh yes. Yeah, so uh, she would explain um, that she kind of came from that way. You know uh, what? Okay. I mean, because let's say that she's, like, describing it, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, so here you go. So uh, she would okay. describe, yeah, that that she came from this direction. Okay. And uh, the what uh, Ren's map or and safeguards and memories might lead you this way. Okay. That helps. That helps a lot, actually. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Good. Are there any other patrols that are scheduled to come down this way? Um, she shakes her head and she says, uh, no, we don't patrol down here. This is was sort of our, it was our little secret. It's, we didn't want to tell anyone because the coin was good. And, and, uh, Mag sort of slams down a tankard and says, was it? <laughs> and then, and, and the guard, and the, the girl kind of cringes. Hmm. You know where I lost the half, other half of my tooth? I'm sure it is a riveting story, but we are interrogating someone right now, Mag. Biting a guard like you in half! <laughs> and some of the goblins are like, oh, Mag, calm down, calm down. <laughs> Amusing. So then it's safe to say that your betters, your superiors with vigilance, are unaware of your little escapades down here? She... Your extortion racket? She nods. Um, the other and guy just... Have... Sorry, sorry then we shall keep it that way. 
Um, the other guy, just so you know, you know, the guy who kind of gave up, he's just like nodding with everything she's saying. It's just like, yeah, yeah, she said. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's like really happy that he's not bleeding half to death. I mean, of of the three, he got I, he he made the, the wise choice. Yeah, he, you got off easy. Yeah. Um. I think we have everything we need to know from them. Um. We'll just kind of take things. Well, okay, actually. Uh, I want to ask. I want to ask how heavily armed their guards are. Uh, yeah. So uh, they would indicate that they are low-level sort of scouts. You know, uh, they don't go mm -hmm. into the castle often. Uh, but the 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 guards that they see going there, you know, are your typical. Uh, uh, they have uh, lightly armored guards, and then there are uh, a few. That they've seen, like paladins and clerics and stuff, with, with uh, more of like the heavy. Paladins and clerics is worrying. But that you know, they're from their recollection, uh, those are a few, few in count. Most of them have gone to the main front. Yeah, well, and a lot of them are probably in and out. Correct. Yeah, yeah she nods. Okay. Um. And the military presence around. Uh, Low? They've all gone to... They've all gone to... to and she, she seems nervous to finish the... Hey, Burrell. And she nods. And go um, the dumb guy, he goes... Uh, uh, to go and... Uh, see... Uh, well... Uh, as he's trying to explain, we're not asking you the questions. Be silent. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, yes, me lord. I mean... What was the plan in Haverhill, looking at him? Um, uh, he says, well, well uh, uh, I hope you know, I mean no disrespect, it weren't my plan. But, uh, some of the higher-ups, they're talking about bringing the Queen back in chains. To, uh, try. to atone for her sins. But I, again, I, I stood above my pay grade. I figured this much. They can try, but they will break upon my brother's shields. You have a brother? Is he as tall as you? No. Oh, he's short like me then, huh? Too bad for him. I just roll my eyes and paying attention to him. <laughs> um, Octavian's sibling <laughs> is, um, is a lot larger than he is. And made of metal. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Fist bump. <laughs> the Versailles, I just saw your meme. I haven't looked at it. <laughs> What's that, bro? <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. Yeah. Um, I have one more thing I want to ask the, the person who actually knows shit. Um, what about the leadership here? Can we expect the the archivist to be above us at some somewhere? Uh, uh, he says, uh, uh... Not him, the other person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One who actually knows things. I'm done uh, talking to him. <laughs> yeah, um, yes. Uh, the, the, uh, woman would say, uh, oh, you mean, yes, the, arch the archivist, he's, uh, usually in the keep, doesn't appear in public often. Um, I mean, um, as far as anyone knows, it's Tyr that rules Hannon now. He should yet no, but yet very few people can claim that they have seen Tear. Uh, very curious. Uh, forgive me, but uh, to say that he's not real is great heresy, and you'd be punished severely. So we have to. He's not saying that he's not real. Tear doesn't physically sit on the throne, and I'm tired of explaining this to people. Power cord from behind you. <laughs> Regardless of the metaphysics of the divine and all of this stuff, what about Rosalind Levert? I assume with a ritual at hand that she is by his side officiating it? Um, they both look a little bit afraid at the mention of the name. Um, and uh, the woman kind of winces and she says, ah, the cleric Rosalind, uh, 
she will be by the archivist's side. Good. Two birds. I'm looking at all my friends. One stone. Uh, you're gonna need more than a stone. Why don't you bring that fancy sword? Can I show my dagger? The bloody one? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Tie it. Uh, looking at uh, Solomon, I'll say, Tie them up or do something with them. I don't care. Do you want me to deal with the... <clears throat> hmm? And deal with the body. Let's go. Um, Solomon would kind of gag the guy unless Saloon was doing something. Oh, no, I was just showing him my dagger. That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. He would take his leftover bandages and just, like, tie one around the guy's mouth and just kind of roughly Good. throw him in the corner. Good. We'll gather them when we're done. If they get a little rowdy, Solomon, you can tell the goblins to go poke them with forks. I'm sure they will Where's have... Fire? I'm sure they will have... Amp I'm sure that it will be uh, wonderful entertainment for this evening. Um, uh, the goblin sort of overhearing this uh, would say to you, Varn, uh, what's, uh, what's uh, the big one saying? We don't work for free. Even when it comes to torturing humans? Torture? Uh, okay, we help. <laughs> <laughs> but more so like, hey, they're getting up, but he just had the goblins like, you know. Two copper, you get, like, three pokes. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, there are goblins kind of all around them, and they just look terrified. <laughs> just, you know, want to keep them, uh, keep them occupied. Make sure these people don't, uh, don't have yeah, the opportunity keep, to move. Keep them busy, which means they stay in the bar longer, which means they buy more drinks. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Customer retention grows revenue. That's right. Exactly. This is why Xbox Game Pass works. Yeah, <laughs> because and it's not confusing like the PlayStation alternative, because the PlayStation one has like three tiers, and even the highest tier doesn't give you everything. Uh, there's only one tier, me lord. <laughs> Didn't I gag you? And he ties a tire. <laughs> oh boy, that was mad. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Slimman. Hopefully, within uh, not too much longer be able to release them into more official custody. Now, you know that uh, when this is over, Mag and I are going into business. We're going to reopen the Barking Roof under a new name and serve only Goblin King Ale. Hmm. Well, I am certain that we will uh, uh, book it for celebrations. I owe her that much for keeping my belly full this last few months. It was a hard winter. And Mag says, was my pleasure, Solomon. You're a good human. Alright. Let's Oof. go. Yes. Just saying goodbyes. Um and um, as you're as you're exiting the door, this guy Lou, who's been kinda like sleeping the whole time, he he kinda wakes up and he goes, oh, Did I miss anything, Mag? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> you missed a lot. You missed the show. Yes. <laughs> He's the bouncer, isn't he, Alice? <laughs> you don't know. Just a guy named Lou. <laughs> Yeah, but he's he's Lou right, right? He's Lou he's Lou V. He is he is he's Louis V. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That's canon. I'm, I'm putting that in world. Oh, no. Louis v. Hey, as we're leaving, Saloon's gonna like ask Octavian. Uh, Octavian, those were the bad guys, right? What I did was okay, right? Yes. Okay. There will be many more like them. So just keep but... doing the same thing and working with you guys. Yes. If any of them surrender, throw down their arms and run. You do not need to hurt them. They have given up. It depends but on the way they, they run. run and tell the others? Can they get someone stronger to come over here? But there's a risk that we have to take. But with any luck, we'll have this all over before... Well, before anything... You will play every, every situation by air, child. Wait, I'm gonna, what? By ear. If they run, I don't understand what that means. It's just if, like, if they working. if they run, use context clues as to whether or not they're gonna like go get help, or like if they don't throw down their weapons or anything, kill them. Mm -hmm. Play it by ears, like they're... go with oh, the flow. Okay. Yeah. It's 
like the L like, like say, professional way. It's like the more professional it, say, way of saying we're winging it. Yeah, or uh, I mean, I'm winging it. We're winging it as a professional way of saying that. Yeah. Mm. So just following you guys as lead. Fly by yeah. the seat of your pants. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, or the the other inappropriate way of saying that is like, if shit goes wrong, if shit can go wrong, it will go wrong. Mm -hmm. And the professional way to say, let's deal with it later is uh. Oh, can we uh take a pit, put a pit in this? Maybe take it offline. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's my whole day. <laughs> yeah. Let's circle back uh, next quarter. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna open the door and like lead my my horse out. Mm. Excellent. Uh, from okay, so as you're there, All right, I'm I'm gonna look at Solomon as I leave as well. And I'm gonna say thank you, sir. Yes. Uh, he would uh give you a firm salute. Now, safeguard from your um location, there is uh. Stairs that go up this way, uh, out the door, you would be led into this path, which you can see that there's multiple branching paths. Okay. That, don't I really? Uh, I have an idea of where to go, right? You sure do. Which way? We're going this way, right? Yeah, I mean, so you uh, would probably know to come up here and then uh, either left or right, basically. Mm -hmm. It's about as far as you might remember. Would you roll okay. again? 20. 20. Oh, 20? Left. <laughs> I'll be fair. Left. All right. <laughs> That's a good roll. That's one of my favorite scenes in, like, and it's it's my, my personal favorite movie. If you take the Lord of the Rings trilogy as one movie, it's my favorite movie. In Fellowship, Frodo agrees to take the ring, and they walk out of Rivendell, and he goes, Gandalf, which way is Mordor? And <laughs> Gandalf's like, left. <laughs> <laughs> I love it because he, he has no idea what he's got himself into. <laughs> and as we know, one does not simply walk into mortar. Okay, great. So uh, you're heading in that direction, so far. And yet they all do. <laughs> Every time they just they just walk into mortar. one. One does not simply walk into Hall. Yeah, that's yeah. my favorite moment in Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As we leave, I would like to search his body if I could for like gold trinkets, potions. Great. Uh, let us roll an investigation check. I was so confused why we had a bear. I forgot B is still wild shaped. Yes. Uh, with a fourteen. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, you would actually find. We lost her. Oh. She'll be back in a sec. There we go. Um, you, Sorry. It's okay. Um, you would actually find uh, a couple of things. You would find a small glass jar. It's about three inches in diameter. And it has what looks like uh, sort of like a very thick liquid uh, or a very thick cream. Uh, and uh, you would you would detect if you were to investigate it. It, it, it has a faint smell of aloe. Okay. And you would tell that it's some, I... it's some sort of an ointment or some sort of a cream. Stuff it in my bag. Okay. And then, is there anything else? Is that it? Uh, yes, you would find, with a 14, you would find one other thing. Um, you would find... Uh, you would find a uh, steel dagger, which looks like it's in pretty good repair, uh, as well as seven coppers and two silvers. This bitch poor. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm taking. I'm writing it down. So ointment. Yep. And you can two uh, silver, seven copper, mm -hmm. and dagger. Yep. You can run. I think like an arcana check to see if you can get a sense of what it might do. But otherwise, you have to. I think identify. Is that right, Cobra? What? How do we handle that? I think you can run an arcana check to get a sense of, of if it's magical or if you can get a sense of what it does. Yeah, yeah, but uh, otherwise, yeah. you need to identify it. Yeah, so with an eight. I would, yeah, you're I would never eight. like unless they've seen it's something something they've seen specifically before. Yeah. I wouldn't let an arcana check know what it is, but maybe like yeah, some information about it. Yeah, that is okay, great. Yeah, so with an eight, you're not sure what it does. Hmm. Okay, I'll ask someone later. Mm -hmm. I'll stuff it all in my bag and follow the rest. Follow the others. Excellent. Mm-hmm. 
Um, as you are leaving, uh, Warpos would jump up on this barrel, and he is playing another jaunty tune uh, about your victory. And I wish I could ad lib some rhyming lyrics, but I'm not that I'm not that quick. But yes, he is. It, imagine it being very good. <laughs> You know what I should write? I should write, like, a ten-page thing of, like, um, Bardic songs that you can just, like, replace the name names in with characters. Sure. Like, that... I, and the, you could throw that on DN's Guild, and that would make Matt funny. Yes. Like, uh... Flowchart for Bard lyrics. Yeah, that's good. Like, uh, Mad Lib, almost, right? Yeah, like Mad Libs. That's right. <laughs> Um, you'd notice as you're leaving as well, this huge dog wakes up and walks over to uh, Mag and he starts kind of petting its head. You'd notice it's like a big dire wolf. That's a... That's a... Uh, a war. $149,000 idea, because any more you'd have to pay wizards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> that's, that's some decent walking change. Yeah. It's even better when you don't have to pay them 25%. Hmm in perpetuity i mean i'd go and sell it off of wizards so they wouldn't know anything about it and they yeah. can kiss my ass what are you guys talking I, about i put it down as pathfinder <laughs> i'm making it making a joke about the the ogl change yeah i know like if, oh. i know if, if, I'm, I'm telling i'm telling you this. It's like if you, hey, have, if you make over like uh three quarters of a million dollars a year um in you know a D, &D related thing uh you have to pay them 25 percent in royalties how about if it's like scaling, you know? Like, oh, it yeah, that's the thing. It's like D&D influence of tax brackets. Yeah, exactly. Well. You know, um, how no much do we have to pay? Anything? I made I made seventy five dollars in four years. Does my have to pay anything? No. Okay. Because <laughs> you don't. It, it's more about people making. Um, oh, I know. Yeah. Content, not necessarily like live plays, but like booked adventures. Sure that sort of thing oh yeah well you know what though uh that's a good point because i know it's not most people but like all the all the crap on like what is it morphidius what's that site or like the dm's guild uh dm's guild mm -hmm. what, yeah all those sites yeah drive through rpg right mm -hmm. yeah yep. i i like all those they're all good yeah a lot of those people would probably be okay because they're probably not making that kind of money the problem is is that uh based on the original wording of the OG, of the ogl update yeah. is that um wizards would own what you put out <laughs> I see. And they could republish it or use it in their own projects and not have to credit you. I sell it for a buck. Or pay you anything. Sell it for, for a buck and ask for donations. Yeah. Mm. Either way. Yeah. Um, a lot of the drive-thru so, RPG stuff, it's pay what you want. Yeah. Yep. So for... That or just for... sell it as Pathfinder shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Convert it to Pathfinder 2E. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, shit, that's what a lot of people are doing. I just don't want to learn Pathfinder. <laughs> also <laughs> recommended for other games that include dragons and dungeons mm -hmm. and other such things. Bunkers and badasses. <laughs> yep. B and B. Yeah. Yep. I, I think that's what we should start referring this uh, to this as. Bunkers and badasses. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> it's a lot more modern. Shit. Okay, so we're moving, and I believe we had to go left, so. If it's a grate, how are we going to get the horse through the grate? Well, I, don't what? I don't know how the horse made, horse made it through a four-foot diameter tunnel. The, the, the badger went back. No, the, the, the metal pipe that we went through over the first part. Was it a metal pipe? I thought it was, it was stone. They, like, blew it apart, didn't they? Uh. Yeah, we definitely blew it apart, because Safeguard themselves wouldn't fit through that. Mm. Then we pulled, like, the grate off, like, the metal bars, but I think the surrounding part of it was stone, but whatever. Um, it's here now. Um, yeah, so we're moving. If I can't move, yeah, if I can't move through, I'll just ride it back to the tavern and leave it at the tavern. I just wanted a spot to leave it that's not in the middle of nowhere. Somebody needs enlarge and uh, reduce. Yeah. The ring of enlarge and reduce. All right. 
Great. So... Right up until you cast it on the ring. <laughs> yes. Um, excellent. So coming uh, through this uh, storm system, you know, you've got some uh, gray water happening and you've got a stone ledge uh, around to one side. You, you get up on or you can slosh through the water. Uh, it would go on for a while. Uh, what do you have for a light source? Uh, me. Boom. And I'm sure Ren can light up his bracelets too. Okay. Um, so everybody's following Ren? I figured we'd follow Safeguard. Mm -hmm. been here. Um, after a while, after say maybe, you know, five minutes or so of walking through this uh, corridor, which uh, goes left and right a bit, uh, one way or another, uh, you'd see it kind of going off into the distance and you'd notice above your head um, uh, a grate, which is a square. And uh, you would hear some voices. Let me hold up and listen. Well, if he is leaving tomorrow, perhaps we can relax this weekend, have a pint, maybe root out some of the non-believers. Might be worth a promotion. A day that'll be, Leandro. You know he never goes for long. Besides, I bet she will hang around to make sure we're being quite pious. And then you'd hear some laughter. And Safeguard, you would recognize this as being inside. the keep. Directly inside the keep. <laughs> We have another entry for. Let's, we have another entry further ahead. I don't think we want to work our way up while there are people there. Keep moving forward. Keep your head down. All right. Well, keep moving and see if we have another rate that looks like it leads into the keep. If not, we'll we'll backtrack. Mm -hmm. Um. After about another 100 feet or so, safeguard, there'd be another one. Um, this one uh, appears to be have, you would have gone up a, a very mild slope, you know, 5 to 10 degree slope for a little bit. Um, and then there'd be another grave. You would not hear any voices. Okay. Um, how, like, high up is the ceiling? If you were to look up? Yeah. Um... Uh, if you were to look up, um, let's do, because you've got, let me think for a minute. Um, Safeguard goes up to the grate and looks up through it. You would notice that the ceiling up above, you recognize, it's about 30 feet. 30 feet. Not in this, no, I'm talking through the grate, the room above. Oh, okay. Where you are now, it's like barely five feet. Okay, so, so we just like... Crouch walking. <laughs> Yeah. You're holding. Let's undo on. this. Let's do this. Um, Does it just pop off? Uh, it it would. You'd be able to push it. If if you were to touch it, you'd be able to push it up. Um, and you're not sure that your horse is going to fit up through that. That's fine. Unless you, Octavian, help everybody get up. I'm going to take my horse to the top. Huh? So that no one comes through here and accidentally finds it. All right, I'll wait. I'll help you up. Well, no, it's only five feet. You should be able to have enough strength to pull yourself up. Yeah, just help the people who are weak. Right. Um, say I take some time and go here. Great. Uh, yeah, you would. You know, take you about ten, fifteen minutes, maybe. Uh, you would return, and uh, you would hear uh, some cackling as the goblins are having a bit of fun with the two prisoners. Is the door unlocked? It is, yeah. All right. I'm going to poke my head in and say, Hi, hey Solomon. Uh. Where can I keep my horse? Oh, um, I'll take care of it for you. Yeah, just make sure that the goblins don't salvage it for parts. Uh, he walks up and looks and he kind of goes, and he kind of clicks his tongue and goes, uh, That's a good horse. She's she's uh, very uh, skittish about it. She's very hesitant. Mm -hmm. You can hear, I think it's close, you can hear a single beat. Yeah. Alright. Um, 
Uh, I think my horse has its own consciousness. Consciousness? Consciousness? So consciousness. Like, consciousness? I don't have that, sorry. <laughs> uh, conscientiousness. <clears throat> yeah, so I'll just, like, tell it to listen. <laughs> Point at this person. Good. <laughs> this person, good. Listen. These yeah. ones, don't let, don't touch, don't let touch. <laughs> I'll take my time to get back, and I assume that, I mean, I guess I, if people were willing to wait, uh, I could also help people get through here. Yeah. I'll, like, kind of use, like, kind of crouch and stand and, let, like, use my shield as a uh, stepping stone for people to uh, pop up on and pull themselves up through the great... Yeah, and as everybody's climbing up this, I'll help Octavian as well. In case right. anybody needs needs a little boost. Mm -hmm. Or like, I imagine Vorn is um, historically very heavy and very round. Yeah, he's also short too, so. <laughs> yeah, but I think between all of us helping each other, we should all be able to uh, yeah. get up. What are you uh, all on about? I just walk up walls. <laughs> Magic like that. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. You do no spider climb. You could do that. Mm. Um, could we just pause for a moment? I just I'm never gonna run to the restroom. Okay. And then we'll and then we will come topside into the keep. Actually, Justin, I, let, let let's roll fly. I don't know spider climb, but I do know jump. Oh. Can you learn spider can you climb jump as a. Heavy uh, actually, he doesn't wear heavy armor. He only wears, uh... I think leather. it's medium. I thought he had leather. Um... I don't remember. I'm looking right now. You should be wearing light because you're a dex fighter. You, do you actually want to roleplay? Because if so, I was going to have Saloon as safeguard why they look like Octavian's armor. Yeah, I've got studded leather. Why... You know what? That's I'll take that. That's fine. That's literally a perfect <laughs> segue into what I was gonna tell Octavian. <laughs> I guess like as we're boosting you up, probably like last or second to last person. <clears throat> I'll look towards you saying this. You know, you want to know why I look like this the way that I do, why I was built this way. Yeah, cause you don't have like super soft. Like, less like me and Octavian and everyone else. It's, like, hard like Octavian's armor. I mean... You must be, like, super if you, tough, right? If you know what a uh, safeguard looks like, I mean, it kind of looks like they don't have eyes, either. They kind of just have a helmet. I look like the way I do, and the reason my head is a helmet is because I am a soldier. Isn't Octavian a soldier, too? Octavian became a soldier. Born My... A I was born a soldier. I was created for war. Yes, believe it or not, Saloon, there was a period of time when I tried to follow in my father's footsteps and become a cobbler. It didn't work out well. What's a cobbler? You know, you know what I think you would. <clears throat> Shoemaker. You know what I think you would be good at, Octavian. Oh, please do tell. I think that if you called upon the stars, you could make some very, very beautiful breads. <laughs> some, some ways you say breads. Yeah, breads. <laughs> mm, haven't the patience for baking. Like beef. Yes, like B. Or, well, unlike B, I should say. I felt like uh, Safer was going to say motivational speaker. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of, I, I thought about anyway. making that feat, but I kind of need to round up some of my stats, so I think I'm done on feats right now. Do you ever wish but... you had flesh like us? Or bodies like us? No. I am built to be unbreakable. 
I can fight forever until my spear dulls. I am until I am battered and broken. Until I am completely, if... completely shattered into pieces. What that is my purpose. Rusty? What happened? I take good enough care of myself. I'm very tempted okay. to have Varn pull out a, a nut and just go and say, Where did this come from? <laughs> Varn, screw that back into me and get me some WD-40. <laughs> <laughs> What's WD-40? <laughs> Lubricant. Oh! Water displacer. I'm not going Water back displacer. to, uh, Dick's halfway in. That's too far. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, oh, I boy. told my guild the name of that inn, and they thought it was great. Yeah. <laughs> it's great, it's just kind of dumb. Your guild? Your guild and what? Uh, it was one of my ESO guilds. Oh, hell yeah. Did I, did I sell you on back on that? No. Yeah, it's a trap. Um... Yeah, it wouldn't matter. Because I'm on console. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That game needs crossplay, but it also needs to work on console. That's true. Does, uh, does console have Swash yet? Has what? Swash. Swashbuckler Supreme. I don't know, honestly. The new trifecta. I see. I just start start back in the game like okay. yesterday. Okay, <laughs> no... that that's fair. I I doubt it because there's like three groups on PC that have it. So mm -hmm. anyway, uh, hello, uh, hello. Ellis is back, so we are upstairs. Hello, yes, you are upstairs. And safeguard, you know, obviously exactly where we are. Um, you would notice, uh, you are you are in a hallway. Uh, the stone under your feet uh, is very familiar to you. Uh, the walls are lined with some uh, sconces uh, burning brightly. Uh, rooms in different ends of the corridor. Uh, you would know that you're actually very close to the throne room safeguard. Uh, you would know that it's down the end of the hall behind a couple of double doors, and you would see some strange light emanating from underneath the door. Get out your weapons, friends. Behind me. I am the weapon. Right. I know. I'll have my arcane focus. I'm grabbing the hilt. As we walk forward down this hallway, I'm gonna say quietly to all, all the people in my group, breathe in, my friends. That is the Why? last gas the last gasp of air of everybody who's died before us. And there will be many more in the time that we are here. Keep fighting for them. I have one more thing. Hmm. And I'm going to pull out the second altered scroll of telepathic bond. Ooh. I knew this was going to pay off. And say, um, uh, just be ready. Our heads are going to get a little crowded. And I will cast it and link all of our minds for the next hour. Let's go. And then without speaking, I'll just say in everyone's mind, uh, yeah, so um, if you think about talking to each other, we don't need to speak aloud. I'm going to think back to you. Where did you get this? Uh, stole it from the archivist. <laughs> <laughs> oh... A uh, taste of his own medicine. I love that. <laughs> Barn is too busy spinning around in circles trying to figure out where your voice is coming from. <laughs> okay. well, we have one hour of it. Let's keep moving. We're going straight to the throne room. You, you would notice uh, B uh, looking at you, Ren, saying, Well, that's a mighty neat trick. Your lips aren't even moving. <laughs> We keep moving. Uh, excellent. So, uh, approaching the large double doors, what would you do? I look back at everybody. Do I have to go ahead? I will help you pick those doors in. No, we're going to push them through slowly and menacingly. 
<laughs> You're gonna have an epic entrance. <laughs> um, Ellis. Yo. So Saloon just pointed out to me that she has the Ring of Mind shielding. Mm -hmm. So we don't know if the scroll would work with her. Um. Okay, let me take a look at that item. Creatures can telepathically telepathically communicate with you only if you allow it. Yep. So if you oh. yeah, so you would feel this um, presence, Saloon, recognizing it as Ren, so you could allow it if you chose. Okay. It's cool. That ring would be like like if like that would be very powerful to like the vocal resistance. They would like that. You know what that ring would have been really useful in. Pilgrimage. <laughs> anyway, are we ready? Yes. Um, okay. I'm gonna put my shield on my back and slowly open these doors. Um, as you open the doors, you are f uh, confronted with a familiar scene. Um, to you, Safeguard, to some others, I think it might be the first time that you've been here. Uh, the, the stone is, a, is, is glowing a light blue color. Uh, there is golden inlay uh, at different points. As you first walk in, I do have a map in a second. As you first walk in, uh, there is a, there is a, uh, a light uh, rug, which leads to a set of uh, steps, which lead up. Uh, and we can drop ourselves on the bottom of this map. And does anybody want to control B until Kate possibly gets here? Not me, thank you. Mm. Um, I'll do it. Okay. Let me just edit my aura real quick. Pull up B real fast. Yeah, up to you. I can do it. Um, yeah, B, okay, she has not, she has not changed her points, but considering we long rested the last time we were in combat, I assume that we're, that she's at max. She has used one wild shape. So let me pull up, uh, shit. This is a long room. This is a long boy. <laughs> well, I assume this is supposed to be kind of like a dungeon. No? I was just saying, if there's someone down at the end of that with some, you know, spelly spells, they got quite a while to peg us. Oh, I mean, like, anybody who wants to do that has enough time to do that. <laughs> that was gross, but I, I, took my, them. I took my opportunity. <laughs> I'm not funny. Don't laugh at me. Uh, don't. I'm laughing with you. Don't encourage don't me. Laugh with, don't <laughs> laugh with me. I'm not funny. <laughs> Uh, is it just a black screen right now? You gotta scroll down. Scroll down. Yeah, way down the bottom. Oh. Did those people react in any way? Uh, okay, so you are... Hold on a second. Okay, so you have just, like, kicked the door in? No, I, I opened it slowly and menacingly and walked through with my spear and shield in hand. Great, so you would see two guards. Uh, are you seeing three tokens, each with nameplates? Yep. Yes. Great. So you would see two guards uh, who were kind of leaning against the wall. Uh, they notice you come in and they kind of look at each other. Uh, and you would notice a woman sitting at a side table uh, writing in a book. You're in my spot. And they would say... You, Looking at the guards. You there! 
You can call me by my name. Uh, the... All my titles that significantly outrank you. Uh, the one says, It's Safeguard. And the other one looks and says, like like with horror, Safeguard! And looking at all the rest of you behind them, uh, they would draw blades. Uh, and they would say, Step Be smart about this, friends. Step back! You're telling me to step back? I'm slaughtered dragons! Are you fools? You're... Go ahead. Are we? I don't know, you tell me. I mean, they're standing still, and we've got two snipers basically standing here, so they're kind of the fools. Um, um, anyway, I don't think we're- I don't think we're fools. When the clashing of steel goes silent, I will be the one standing above you. I suggest you get out of the way, or you join us. Um, as you say this, there is a voice that, uh, booms inside your minds. You would hear, I am glad you're all here. Some of you I remember from the woods, others by reputation. You have forced my timetables a bit. Everything was planned out so perfectly, but never to fear. My final service will go ahead as planned. And at this, you can tell that they heard it too, and they look very, very scared, and they begin to uh, approach you. Arn blinks and looks at Ren. Your voice changed. I look to the left, beast, and I look... Okay? Yes, have I looked. I looked at both of them. Are you sure you want to move closer? And I will take a step forward. Is this as far as we can see down this way? Uh, Octavian Calventus, you have control of B. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've... I'm assuming 60 feet? Yeah, so as you move down the hall, or whatever it is, I will continue to reveal the map. So, um, from Octavian moving there... Could you just show me 60 feet again? Q. Yeah, yeah. So is it... Can I say anything with my double sight? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. In saloon, I think that means... Octavian. Octavian. Yeah. Put light on my lance. We're going to get right back to you, Saloon. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll put light on your lance. Okay. And because I can't use it because I don't have the, the, the horse, I'm going to swing around and I'm going to throw my lance as far down the hallway as I can. With some light on it? Yes. Okay, uh, sounds like I, me. I mean, is it, are these candles up? Is it dark beyond this, or? I'm just trying to understand, like, is, is it actually dark beyond this, or, or is this just thematic limiting? Um, yeah, so, uh, how far can you see regular light? Like a mile? I mean, if mm. you're standing on a mountain, yeah. At the very yeah. least. Yeah, so you would notice that uh, in in this hallway at the moment, let me, uh... yeah, so you would see down the end of the hall, you would see there are some lights here, okay, and uh, there are sconces on the walls, and then there's a staircase that's leading up a little bit with this rug, and then beyond that, it is dark. Okay. Yeah. So... My devil sight. Yeah, what does devil sight do? 120 feet of dark vision. Okay. Can oh, can see through magical. can see th uh, yeah and can see through all magical darkness. So she can go up to here. Okay. Um, in that area, saloon. Oh, hold on. Hold that right there. Thank you. Uh, going up that way, you would be able to see from where you are that uh, it opens up into some alcoves, which are currently, you know, not lit. I can't see anyone else. Just not yet. No. Fuck it. I'm gonna dash. Uh, I'm gonna first. Well, first, I'm gonna misty step like thirty feet. Can, can we take care of one problem at a time? We need vision. We need to not be flanked. Well, why we don't won't we... be flanked? Well, here, here. How about this? Oh, like close the like, close the door. Okay, yeah, I, I got, I got you. I'll wait for you to do that and take care of the people in front of us. I guess you are speaking strong. Yeah, you're 
That's about all you can exchange telepathically at this point. We don't know how strong they are. For all we know, they could Weak. be level 15. Weaker than me. Doubt it. Uh, well, can make them as strong I'm a, as they want. I'm a pretty strong level 11. And you're, you're only as strong as you believe you are. <laughs> but if you're all the way up here and all of us are all the way down here... You have you no have, support. And you're all <laughs> Oh no. Oh, we're rolling initiative? Well, I feel like people are dashing, people are things are happening, so we need an order of operation. Oh, I mean I was just gonna run down, but like Ren told me not to, so like we don't have to start combat. Oh. We can keep talking. I don't think there's much talking to be had. We'll just have an order for the moment. Just in case we need it, you know what I mean? Okay. I can't select my token for some reason. Uh, let me... That's because I'm on the wrong tool. Let me roll your initiative. <laughs> okay, yeah, you got it. Nice. We get everybody in there? Wow, B, nice roll. Varn, look at that. Wow. Jeez. Okay, yeah, so, uh... I guess, yeah, we'll start with, uh... Varn, if, if they're doing anything, holding an action, or what would Varn be doing as safeguards walking into the room, uh, speaking to them? Um, having seen how dark it is down the end, now, as we walk into the room, how how long before we go and walk into the room, and when the voice appears in our head? Yeah, it appeared after a safeguard uh, addressed the guards for the first time, and the guards looked with your passive insight, the guards looked like their resolve was wavering, uh, but this voice bolstered them to step forward towards safeguard. All right. Um, having heard the voice, I'm assuming I can tell who this voice is. Uh, you've heard it between, before. Between the words that I'm hearing and what they're saying, or between what they're saying and, and the voice in my head, I'm assuming I have an idea of who this is. Yes, you I do. would know that they are a threat. Um, I would take a quick look through the room. If I do not see them, I would cast light on the back of my uh, bolt shaft, and that and end my action at this point. Okay. Uh, we'll bring I hate to interrupt. Yeah, sorry, but... Salon. What do you got? Um, would I have heard this with my ring or no? <laughs> yes. So yes. the yeah, with the ring okay. of mind shielding, the spell can work on you if you want it to. So uh, like, but but, on, but only yeah, on that initial instance of the casting. If you choose that it works, then you have bond. If not, you don't have bond. Well, so I... he's talking about the the enemy voice. Oh, oh yeah. No, sorry. I guess same thing kind of applies. Um. Yeah, you would you would probably feel uh, another poke at your brain that is does not appear to be coming from your allies. So you could block it out or allow it. Yeah, I'll say that Saloon didn't hear it. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. No, no, that's uh, that's uh, handy. Uh, great. Uh, what would BB be doing? Uh, I'm looking at her sure. stuff. Give me one second. Mm. Doesn't have a lot of good control spells on them. Um, so probably bonus action Shillelay, uh, on her stack to have that up because that lasts for a minute. Mm -hmm. And then 
will kind of walk up next to Safeguard and will hold an action to attack any of them if they get close to Safeguard and she'll say, Now, gentlemen, uh, <laughs> my male friend over here has kindly asked for you to step aside. If you don't, I'm going to have to hit you with my hitting stick. Uh, that's the beast turn, holding an attack. Got it. Uh, then that'll bring us to Rand. Whoa. I'm gonna do three punches. That was intimidating, that was... Cobra, actually. <laughs> Boop. Right. Not known for his patience. No. He is going to do uh, two punches for the attack action, then one bonus action punch. I'm Rand has many use... virtues, but patience is not one of them. I'm not going to use the key point for flurry blow, so I just get one bonus attack. Sure. Wow. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, that didn't add... Uh, oh, so those... Oh, I did unarm this instead of using the rings. So those should all be plus one, and then I need my uh, bonus radiant. Wow. Uh, what's the bonus radiant? So that's 30... 1d6 uh, so each. That's 39? Uh, yes. Okay. Is it plus one to hit on the armed strikes and damage as well? well yes. So it essentially makes my, my unarmed strikes do are plus one and deal 1d6 radiant. Wow. Uh, you have severely bloodied this uh, poor guard, Ren. And no, there's no fancy shit. Like, Ren just, like, l like throws out, like, a two haymakers and then an uppercut. Got it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they look like they've taken some serious damage. Uh, which will is that Ren? Yeah. Uh, which will bring it to their turn. You know, they, they will look like they're trying to stumble back. They, they do have their weapon drawn. It looks like they were approaching Safeguard. You have come out of nowhere. I mean, a furball came up and said some shit, and then you, then Ren comes out of nowhere, um, raining blows on them, uh, and they are going to attempt to make a couple of attacks uh, on Ren with their short swords, just because Ren's right in their, right in their business. Yeah. Uh, and that is a twelve, this, uh, and a nineteen. Just hits. They would just get a little, just a little chip uh, on on Ren there. Ren would take five slashing from this hit, um, and uh, they're like looking, you know, like 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 they don't know if if they want to back away or if they want to try to grab you. They're just very shocked right now. They're they're shook. Ren can tell. We'll bring us to Versailles. And tell well telepathically oh uh oh. Uh, that was so as you telepathically Ren would say Normally I would make a bid for mercy, but tonight is not a night to hold back. Um Elaine messaged me, uh just had to step away for a quick second, we'll be right back. Uh has instructed me to move Versailles to be able to see things a little bit more clearly and to hold an action. Uh but not to engage. So that will bring us to Octavia. Okay. Um, I'm going to just draw my normal sword right now. I'm not going to waste the hilt on these guys. Mm -hmm. I know it lasts like 10 minutes, but I just I don't want to use it just yet. Uh, let me come up to him. And I'll give him a good... Let's see... I'll just give him a couple of good wax. I'm not going to waste anything special on him. Hmm. 24. Okay, big hit. Is that a... Uh... Nine. nine slashing. Yep. He's not undead, I don't think. No, doesn't seem to be. 13. Wow, you guys are rolling hot. Yeah, we're wasting it all now. Yeah. Uh, hit anything. Yeah, uh, seems to be bloodied uh, as well. Okay. Uh, I'll, just... Yeah. I'll just hit him times with the the blade go to uh my kind of defensive stance and then just look at him and go it's just a taste now the choice is yours That's um mm -hmm. uh this one is going to roll something okay uh they are going to they are going to um look at you you know blood sort of dripping up off their left side where you've carved into their shoulders through their armor a little bit, uh, and they're going to attempt to make a couple of short sword attacks. A 12 
and a 16. Both miss. Uh, he's just slashing wildly at you. He just was not prepared for this. You could tell it's the middle of the night. They're on guard duty in the safest building, so they thought the war is far away. This is with your passive insight, and he's just <laughs> he's just shook, much like, like yeah. their friend. Um, bringing us to, uh-oh, safeguard. I'm going to look at this one, who like clearly had the look that they were thinking on their face, and after swing at Octavian, I'm going to move towards them, and I'm going to say, you chose wrong. You chose poorly. You have 16 chosen and 15. Poorly. Uh, those would both hit. Okay, so that is on, 30 damage. On Leandro. Uh, is this lethal damage? Yes. They go down. Uh, is that safeguard? I'll use the rest of my movement, but other than that, that's me. Uh, excellent. Okay. Uh, how far can safeguard see? Um, I don't know. How much can a person see? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, brings us to Saloon. Saloon, much has unfolded before your very eyes. Yeah. Um, so that guy's dead. I would <laughs> like to use... I there is indeed... Ren. There is a dead guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hit Ren, so could I use my movement and use my dark vision to see further ahead? Uh, you, you certainly can. And then could I use my action after that? You can take a dash action to go 60 feet, or you can move 30 feet and then take an action. 30 feet, check the 120. Wait, that's too far. That's okay. okay. Uh, yeah, right there. Next to the dead body, yeah. loot it, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that takes an action. Yeah, I'm kidding. Uh, kind of. Mostly. I, I want to see my dark vision. See if I can see any further. If I can yeah. see anyone yeah, hold that, that I can me. shoot. Got it. Thank you. Yep. Hold it right there. Yeah. One second. Um, and with the angle you're standing, you would be able to see... Uh, you would be able to look down and you would see that awesome. the room opens up a little bit more and you would see some guards sort of standing by making their way down the hall. Right, I shout to everyone. I'll be like, there's, there's one, two, three. There's four more guys. And then um, I want to use. I mean, she was counting on her fingers. I think it really I, <laughs> I was going to say, does uh, Slim, Ken Slim count to four? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's on her fingers when she's doing this. That's right. Yeah, she was. Right. Oh, she, she has to count her money, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. I'm. Yeah. Did you like in the in, so not to be dumb in the vlog yeah. last week? Um, Octavian, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a grown-up drink. Do not worry. <laughs> um. You're doing an Eldritch yeah, Blast? Yeah, Eldritch Blast is 120 feet. It so sure is. <laughs> I want to use Eldritch Blast on this mother right here. Yeah. Mofo, right here. Wait, I don't think it... What? Um, Can you see yeah, it? You need to be, you need, Got yep, it. You need, you need to be off of the um, measuring tool thing. Um, I would say you have you have line 95. of sight on that guy. Yeah, you, you can hit his uh, his shoulder over there. On the side there. Shoulder? Yeah, like you his... Have full, you have full vision on this guy. That one? That's true. Yeah. You have an open shot on that guy and, and the guy behind him, basically. All right, so I changed my mind. I want to go to the guy that I have a better shot on. Yep, go ahead and roll. Pew, pew. Twenty-five. Wow, big hit. Okay, and then I'm going to roll again. Great rolls. Um, Twenty-two. Yep, uh, roll damage on those. Twelve. Mm -hmm. And then the other one. Um, Makes so, you damage. Um, um, from screeching down the hall, this uh, Eldridge uh, blast uh, would easily knock that soldier to the ground. Uh, make it. Well, one's gone now. So, however many that is. <laughs> Scrubs. Four minus one is um, left. 
<laughs> no, it's right. <laughs> Q Stannis Baratheon. Fewer. <laughs> <laughs> then, yep, yeah, that's my action and movement. So that's it. Did you guys Must. know? Did you guys know I have a video on my YouTube channel called Stannis Did Nothing Wrong? <laughs> It just did a lot wrong. <laughs> Says the father of three daughters. I'm like, yeah, I'm like drinking beers in my pool. I'm like, you know, <laughs> he's the true king of Westeros, guys. <laughs> this was like, yeah, he, this was many he also, he, he also burned a child alive. I know. I was trying. Sure, he was related to. Yeah, I was trying to make the point that like, if they lost the the like, uh, what's his face, Boltons were gonna do like much worse to her. So maybe it was a mercy. I don't. I don't stand behind that today. <laughs> I don't. I yeah. That was a, a bad take, as they say. Yeah, it's a very bad take. <laughs> yes. Um, I'll admit when I have a bad take. Excellent. So that saloon um, brings us back around to the top of the order to barn. Um. Have we seen anything out of this person? Uh, they are hiding behind the table. All right. Uh, oh, Varn is going to go and move forward 30 feet, uh, which I don't remember how far that was. Wow. It's between 29 and 31. Really? Damn it. <laughs> wrong again. <laughs> um, yeah, I've only got 30 feet. Uh, so I'm going to go and move forward. And as I'm moving forward, I am actually going to go and cast my, um, Use my bonus action to go and cast my uh, Eldritch Cannon, or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to fix that to the bottom of my crossbow. Uh, say it again? So, you you use your bonus action to create your, your Eldritch Cannon. And I want to go and fix it, like, have it clamp on to the bottom of my crossbow. I see. We can under rail grenade launcher. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking cool. Uh, and I'm going to go and utilize the ballista uh, version of it. Uh, but apart from that, I'm not taking any actions. I'm just walking forward. Got it. I'm basically prepping myself. Cast buffs, cast buffs, steel yeah. buffs. <laughs> He's walking menacingly. <laughs> just standing there. Menacingly. I like, yeah, while well, all this is happening, Barnes just Barnes just walking forward. <laughs> <laughs> He's walking forward, pulling out bolts. No, not that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's good enough. <laughs> and just slowly loading it and clamping things on, taking other things off, muttering to himself, bitching and complaining quietly. You know. Yes. As goblins do. Yes. <laughs> because Lord only knows they have no idea what, I, or nobody has any idea what the fuck they're talking about half the time. So yeah, that's it. Uh, excellent. Uh, that'll bring us to B. Yeah, I'm double checking something real uh -huh. quick. Okay. Um. So yeah, she's just gonna walk to this guy. He goes. Uh. He goes. All right. 99, and she's going to hit him with the, the, the shillelagh spear. Uh, so that would be the uh, the second one. It would be 12, because mm -hmm. it's a D8 instead of a D6. Got it. Um, if it knocks him down, I imagine B would probably do non-lethal. Is that a... Was that the 12 damage? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because the, 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 the 5 is uh, a D6. Shillelagh changes it, so no matter what way you're wielding the weapon it does a d8 okay so we'll say they're unconscious okay he has come up and just whacked them into the ground just right on the head right on the temple yeah and their sword clatters to the ground yeah and then let's see i think it was right here right and yeah she'll go out and uh with safeguard B's turn. Uh, excellent. Uh, at initiative count 20. Mm. Oh, I thought... Let's look here. 
uh, the voice rings out again. You must know by now, she moved half the continent into her realm to find a single half-elf, but some magic prevented it. Old wards cast by meddlesome fools. Um, and at this, you would notice in the distance uh, what looks like these four motes of uh, light uh, appear to be floating, and they appear to settle down, illuminating the stone ground uh, as a ring of fire is going to appear in the ground. And I'm going to do some revealing, if I may. Oh, boy. I'll allow oh, it. <laughs> I suppose we'll allow it, Ellis. Yes. This is so Just exciting. because you asked so nicely. Yes. Good. Uh, let me... Why, this map is large. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, zooming in and out all the freaking time. Yes. Um, so you... Wait. Yeah. Okay. There we go. My bad. Roll 20 is being kind of weird. Yeah, so the room uh, springs uh, into light. Uh, one second. Come on, there we go. Okay, and you would see at the far end uh, the figure of a familiar half-elf um, who is standing next to these four glowing motes of light. Uh, and as they say this... Uh, this ring of fire appears uh, at this altar, right at the end, right, right in front of the throne. And um, would you guys give me a villain monologue? Yeah. Yes, please. please. You're the you're the DM. We have to. Um, you hear their voice, not in your minds, um, but calling down the hall. They would say, <clears throat> "My parents served as advisors to Brenneth herself. I was destined to lead the court of Zana, passed over for the son of a stuffed shirt." lacking a fraction of my potential, mortgaging the greatness of Altair for political favor. But I found a strange ally, the Curator. She told me a strange story that if I reinvented myself as the Holy Archivist, a student of Tyr, in the backwater church with that buffoon Reverend Trask, that I would one day take my place as Sapiarch of Altair. But first I must perform her a service, and help subjugate these fools and their sorry excuse for a queen. Shame about her late husband. I'd offer my condolences, but I strongly doubt you'll be in any condition to deliver them. You see, whoever controls the court of Xana controls Altair, and with both Vanador and Hanan dealt with, the clans in Gion feuding amongst themselves, there will be no one left to stop us! And that'll bring us to Ren. Alice, out of curiosity, how tall are these stairs right here? Uh, it is about five steps up. I'd say it's maybe five feet. I'm sorry. So about maybe, five feet tall. Maybe three, maybe three, All right. feet, three feet. All right. Just trying to go and measure my distances here. <clears throat> uh, just to answer the question, uh, Saloon would have heard that because that was using their voice. Yeah. So that was not telepathic. Good. I'm making sure that you got that. So Ren will just step right on this motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like that's up. <laughs> nine, ten. Uh, so Ren just, just walks straight up. And so it's no one to stop you. you. Seem to have forgotten about the seven motherfuckers right in front of you. And he is going to hold um, an attack action if anyone gets within thirty feet of him for his radiant sunbolt. He kind of like takes like a ready position. Excellent. Uh, that'll bring us to 
Let me fix my turn order quickly. They're dead. Why can't I get rid of them? There we go. They're they're unconscious. But I just want, does anyone have banish? Yes. Oh, nice. Hold on to that. We might need it. I won't use oh, my bro. spells. I'll just keep using my Eldritch Blast. You have two, oh, so for the yeah. for the Eldritch Cannon, when it says range fifteen, is that the shooting distance or is that movement? So uh, it, it depends. What, what kind of cannon did you make? So this is the uh, the ballista. I think it's it's got to be moving. I think. Ballista, I think, is at least sixty. Let me look at Artificer real quick. Um, Artillery. Can Walker climb up to fifteen feet? But it doesn't go and give force ballista has a range of 120 feet. The oh, it does? has a yeah. The flamethrower has a 15 okay. foot cone. Uh, okay. I'm not where the hell is that listed in here then? Uh, probably it's under outside. features. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it's probably under like features, not the actual like attack itself. Gotcha. All right. Just checking. Yeah, so I say as long as you're within 120 feet and are completely visible, I think you'll be okay. I mean, double down on damage. We're gonna start raining here <laughs> shortly. Uh, excellent. Uh, so that is Ren, uh, and that brings us to the vigilant. Uh, I'm gonna delete the dead one. Thanks, Saloon. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, of course, anytime. Just let me know whenever you need me to do it again. No Absolute, problem. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Uh, these okay, so these ones are actually uh, looking at what's happening. They're actually going to. You would see a couple of them uh, actually step over to the side a little bit. Uh, this one is going to make a couple of shortbow attacks on Ren before using their movement. Uh, that is an eighteen to hit. Miss. Uh, just and then that is a seven. Eighteen? Did you say eighteen missed? Eighteen just misses. Oh wow. Okay. And then they're going to use their movement to come over here. Uh, same thing over here. These two are going to step back a little bit behind cover. And uh, these two are going to make a couple of... Let me take a quick look here. Yeah, they're going to take a couple of attacks against Ren with their bows. That is a 9 to hit. That is a nat 1. That is a 17. Uh, a 23. I will catch the 23. Okay. <laughs> so you catch that in midair with your... Uh, Deflect missiles. Yes. I reduce it by 18. Uh, that would reduce the damage to zero. To I believe negative, so I heal. <laughs> but you were at max. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't heal you, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. That would be so cool if it did. It'd be, it? That'd be bullshit. Do you guys remember the yeah. time that um, Duncan did the vampire touch and he got a natural? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was highlight. <laughs> like all. You know, that sounds really familiar. I think I have that spell. Vampire Probably. Touch? Vampire Touch? That's fun as hell. I love Vampire Touch. So all these arrows like whiz by right and then the last one goes right yeah. at his face and he just catches it. Yep. Yeah. And then they're going to use a little bit of movement uh, just to come back here. Uh, great. And that will... Oh, hold on a second. Sorry. Um, I forgot there's more, there's more dudes. Uh, they're going to come over behind this pillar. This one's going to move just move more behind this pillar. This one's gonna do the same. Uh, this one is gonna do the same, and this one is gonna do the same. And there's gonna be actually there's two more. Uh, they're firing short bows at you, Ren. Two of them. Okay. Two of them on their way over. Uh, yep. And yep. And yep. And twenty-one. All right, you got me. Got you one time. Uh, seven piercing. I guess us to I'll just have to dodge next turn. Yeah. Uh, brings us to Versailles. Uh, are you back, Elaine? Yeah, I'm here. Welcome uh, back. What was it? What was she? Uh, you would notice this is a human uh, female, and as you entered, she kind of jumped behind the table once the fighting began. She may or may not be okay. missing a finger. Which was not <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah, for once. <laughs> So, 
how big are the pillars? Uh, um, how big are the what? The tables? Up the side. Uh, I can't touch pillars. Oh, like the, the little alcoves or the tables? You're breaking up a little bit, Elaine. Round tables. Uh, the tables, they would be about eight feet across. Well, I'm sorry. You know what? These are five foot squares. They are five foot across. How tall are they? You're breaking up a lot. Like, we can't, can't hear you. Yeah, she wants to know how tall something is. Yeah, she's asking how what the uh, diameter of the tables is. Yeah, the diameter would and be whether uh, they're waist high or not. A uh, five foot standard kitchen table height. So yeah, waist waist high, I guess. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna go and refresh the uh, server location. Thanks, Warm. Okay. Yep. Or region override or whatever. All right. Try again, Versailles. See if that helps. Ooh, yes, the bot's working again. Thank God. Oh wow. Let's go. Yeah, it was just been kind of like refreshing Spotify every nice. Like twenty minutes and it's I've back been, up now. I've been playing my own battle music. Yeah, so was I, and I was like, I'm not really having it. Hmm. Side, try again. See if we can uh, process. If you can hear us. Ooh. So frustrating. I hate when I have audio issues. It's so frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. Half time, it's like nothing you can do about it. It's like you didn't do anything. It's just right. like Discord deciding to be a shithead. <laughs> I love that meme, Cobra. I just looked at it. Oh, yeah, that's what I said. That was my favorite part of uh, Lord of the Rings. Nice. Um, well, why don't we go to Octavian, and when Elaine gets back, we will just jump back to Versailles. Yeah, she's saying she's got to restart her Chromebook. It's okay. uh, having it's probably, audio issues. It'll probably take like two minutes, so. All right. Uh, so, bonus action. I'm gonna activate my boots so that I can move 60 feet. Click. And as, yeah, as uh, as I'm moving, um, would it be a full action to swap from my normal sword to the hilt, or the um, hilt like just a small object? Yeah, it's I feel like. like are you dropping your normal sword? And I can, but I kind of want to have a backup though. Okay. Um, so. Let's ask Cobra. Can he do that, Cobra? So you can draw or stow a weapon as part of the an action, typically to, and that's you typically get one free action. At least that's how I roll it. Yeah. Yeah. So if I'm stowing it and pulling the hilt off of my belt, that's basically the same as swapping. Yeah, that would be that would be two. That would take an action. Okay, that's, that's fine. Yeah. That's what I was planning on, anyways. I just wanted wanted to clarify. I mean, it's uh, ruled yeah. that you can draw a weapon and, and attack with it in one action. Kind of yeah, like that. Yeah, but I have to stow my current Speed one. slash. Yeah, but I have to stow because I hit, used right. the, the physical sword against him. Um, That's fine. Think back, Justin. Did you show that to Terrison or no? Do you remember? I did. I did, did show it to her. Okay, I wasn't sure. I told her that this was going to be my promise to our people. That's basically. Oh, you took the, the oath. That's right. That's when I took my oath. So cool. So... As I'm moving forward very fast, I draw my sword and pull out the hilt, whisper its command phrase, mm -hmm. and ignite it. Uh, and I'll say, You say you have dealt with Vanador, yet I am still here! Um, that'll be my turn, though, because that's all I can move. Mm -hmm. And my action and bonus, so... Uh, excellent. Yeah. Very good. So. Uh, and let's right. check. Yeah, yes. I was going to run out telepathically say uh, with a smile, thanks for keeping up, old man. 
I need my boosters. <laughs> Uh, excellent. Uh, that'll bring us to uh, safeguard. Okay. Um. What will I do? Something awesome. <laughs> um. I will take the dash action. And my speech is going to be more badass. Because this guy's a pussy. <laughs> Grand Archivist. The just cry to the heavens and I answer. When your empire crumbles after this day, your lands will become a reflection of mine. Shaped by humanity. My spinner points forward, looking backwards, Safeguard says. Crumbling this to be legend. Um, and that'll just be my turn. I don't really have any bonus actions. Okay. Oh, you shield the faith or something? I love, I love safeguard. Right I want to. Right I want to. I want to use haste. Okay. Um, did you, did you use something, you know, you, you... No, that's my turn. Got it. Perfect. Uh, do we have an Elaine? We do not No, have... she's, not she's gonna have to call it a night. Really? Uh, her internet keeps cutting in and out. Oh. Okay. I asked if she had the ability to go and, um, plug it in, but I guess the Jack is in her brother's room and he's sleeping currently. I see. Okay. Um... Warren, do you wanna you wanna run Versailles? Uh, that's what I'm asking her if she wants me to go and do for. Her. Okay, yeah, she said she's she can go and uh, or relinquish the control to either you or I. So I'll yeah. go and pull up her sheet here for you. Yeah, I'll just uh, you can now move her token. All right, cool. So yeah, uh, let's have if you're prepared, you can take her turn now, or we can have someone go and then Versailles. Can um do, 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 do. let's see where is she currently right there yeah. move um, move shoot arrow probably <laughs> i let's see what's the distance that she has here she has sharp shooter so as long as she can actually see somebody even with a little bit of cover she's got like 600 feet mm -hmm. yeah but i well you know what Maybe she will do that then. Um, we'll bring her up to 30 feet here. And, um, oops, need the thing. And she's got two attacks currently. So she's going to go and take a pair of shots at, uh, our little mage friend there in the back. Who's, uh talking too much <laughs> once I get her sheet up here do 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 halcyon where'd she go there she is load So let's see. Ooh, okay, so that is minus five to go and hit. So that's uh, 19 to hit. Um, okay. Uh, I'm assuming that hits. Uh, well, let me tell you what happens. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, as the arrow impacts, 
uh, onto the half elf. So I'm seeing a lot of movement arrows here, yeah. and uh, I'm not liking that. <laughs> um, as the arrow hits, you would you would see for a moment uh, a, a faintly shimmering uh, barrier uh, would the arrow would pink off it. Okay, all right, that's that's unfortunate, but uh, this is her second shot. Uh, same thing with mm -hmm. the uh, that's gonna miss. I'm assuming. Yes. Um, yeah, with the uh, minus ten or minus five on there. So okay. Um, she's annoyed, but she's definitely going and looking for the next arrow. Uh, excellent. We'll bring us to saloon. Sorry. Um, yeah, so, uh, like, seeing Grin get pierced with an arrow from, like, that direction, mm. like, I'm assuming I can still see it, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I want to use 30 uh, feet of my movement and then see if I can have them, like, in my oh. line of sight. Okay. So, where's the measure thingy? What do I measure? Uh, it's the fourth one down. It looks like a little, little ruler. ruler. Uh, the little ruler. Okay. Um. Now I have to fix my Chromebook. Hey, uh, hey, Cobra. Yes. That's Adney, the little ruler. Yeah, <laughs> uh, go to. Thank Rins. you, Mark. Yeah. You're welcome, Alice. Rins? That was uh, good. Yeah, you want to move there? Yeah, next to Rin. Okay. Need some help moving? I can drag you right there. That's weird to call safeguard the little ruler, considering how big they are. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Alright, and I want to Eldridge blast these mother foes. Uh, yeah. Let's see, 120 feet it is? Yeah. Um, you've got, you could hit this guy right here. I see the one that hit Rin. Um, you're not probably not sure which one that was. There was arrows flying from okay. every direction. But they've all got like bow and arrows. They did, yeah. They do have seem to have short bows. Okay. Um, yeah. So, hmm. hang on. This guy. Walnuts right? are so good. Yep. Okay. I want to shoot that guy. Hold on. I'm on my spells. Let me go back to my cantrips. Eldritch blast. Pew, pew. 21. Hit. <laughs> and then... Roll damage. 13 hit. <laughs> um, on that guy? Yeah. One sec. Uh, the 13 would not hit. Okay, so I'll just roll one damage, and it's gonna be twelve. Okay, twelve. Looks like it. It looks like it uh, impacted, um, and you actually notice uh, this guy. Uh, looks like it took. Yeah, looks like he took some damage. All right, and I want to be. I want to say, that wasn't very nice. You should apologize. <laughs> and that'll be my turn. <laughs> Excellent. We'll bring us back around to barn. Uh, Varn is going to go and move forward to, I believe, here. Oh, right there. And take a knee. As he does so, takes a deep breath. Mm -hmm. Lets it out slow. And fires off two sharpshooter shots with his crossbow. At the wizard lady. 
who she is now referred to as because I don't know what else she is. Uh, oh, there we go. Do, 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 do. Plus seven. That's a miss. And a 19 to hit. Uh, you're shooting at the uh, archivist? Yeah. Yep. Uh, so let me look here. Uh, the 10 would miss, the 19 would hit. All right. So that is 18 damage with the... Uh, Plus okay. twin. Okay. And let's see. I don't. Does the sharp sh or does the uh, cannon go and take an action, or is that a bonus action to strike? You can shoot the cannon with a bonus action. Um, with a bonus action. A, yeah, but it's a spell attack, so I don't believe it benefits sharpshooter. No, that's fine. Um. I'm just wondering so that moving forward, if I get anything within range, mm -hmm. I can uh, reach out and touch Start somebody. Blasting. Uh, actually, oh, I've got that guy. Oh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go and and use the uh, the bonus action to shoot this dude here. I'm assuming that's half cover because I think that's a pillar, correct? Uh, would you ping the, the the gentleman again, please? Oh, uh, this guy right here. That guy, yeah, he's we uh, without the sharpshooter. Yeah, he would. Okay, yeah. Uh, either way, we're gonna go and make an attempt. Sure. It's just a regular dice roll. Screw it. We'll just use this. Fourteen to hit. Uh, fourteen. What's with your the... your bonus to hit with a spell attack? Oh. Um, yeah, yeah the, the Eldritch Cannon uh, do... does your spell attack modifier. Oh, great. What's that like? Three for Varden? Where is it? Where is it? And I believe you gain proficiency as well. Let me double check. Let's Let me just look at my ar artificer that I put for the one shot. Where the hell is my thing listed here? Uh, I mean, yeah, so you're proficient with your spell attack, so it'd be. Yeah. Uh, plus intelligence, plus proficiency. And then it's 2d8 damage, force damage, and pushes five feet. Alright, yeah, so, so well, if you scroll down on your, you scroll down on your actions. Is seven. Yeah, uh, on my artificer for the, the little one-shot that Cobra did a while back, uh, it should be under bonus actions uh, for the force ballista. Oh, is that? Okay, that's where it's listed. So it has rollables there. Alright, perfect. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is it here for the... There it is. Yeah, right there. Well, that's the damage, but, uh, so yeah, that is... What would it have been to hit, a 17? So Which... it's a 14 plus 7. Oh, 21. That is, that is definitely a hit for 10. So 10 damage, then. Excellent. Wow, the Eldritch Cannon. Uh, would you describe it again? Well, what does it look like? Is it like... So it's, it's... I mean, it's Varn. It's a. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a mini version of his crossbow that's like on legs yep. and clamping onto the bottom of his crossbow. Nice. It's uh, what Poobadoo was using. Poobadoo. Poobadoo. <laughs> Poobadoo. <laughs> ah. But <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that was just, that was just the noise that Poobadoo makes. Is <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Better, it's it's just a cannon with little crossbow arms uh, that don't actually do anything. Aesthetics only. Yep. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, if that is Varn, that'll bring us to yes, B. Yes, that's everything I've got. That will bring us to Beatrice Ethel Tree. Right. He's going to move up a little bit more. Uh, and then... All right, Alice, I'm going to need you to drop me... Uh, four uh large beast tokens for four dire wolves because she's going to drop fifth level spell to do uh conjure animals wow 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 uh so i got 60 foot range on them i'm gonna put two on this side and two on this side do we have a wolf token i thought we did. i mean if you don't just put down something that i can yeah, control yeah. 
Uh, you had the wolf from the bar that was just there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can do that. That'd be a cool wolf. Oh, my God. So much stuff. Okay. Uh, but, uh, let me think for two seconds. While you're grabbing those, she's putting the... Uh, pulling out the spell, she's going to say. Um, it's a party, y'all! Stop hiding and come out and play! Uh, and she's going to drop the the dogs. Yeah, is that um, it? Can it be that? Yeah, uh, they're large, so they take up four squares. What? <laughs> do you want that yeah, one? Or do you dire want the, wolves. Do you want the dire scary wolves, one dude. from the bar? Okay. <laughs> yeah, do whatever you want. Um, and then she'll say telepathically to everybody, it's like, don't hit my dogs. And don't hit my dogs. Uh, and then once we have them up, I have to roll initiative for them. Yeah, hold on a second. I got to copy paste between maps because I just simply can't find it. You're good. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm very Bing, tempted your to go and have. So cute. I know. I'm very tempted to go and have Varn ride on one and just <laughs> go and have him run all over the fucking place. <laughs> okay, so there's one. You should be able to control that. Trick shots. If I copy Fuck it, does it. it inherit control? Yep. It does. Yep. Yes. It, it copies all properties of it. Nice. And all there right. are your four dogs. Please place them where you will. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> They're about to have some fun. Mm. Um, so they just appear so to, wherever, yeah. you, wherever you command them to appear? Appear anywhere within 60 feet. Jeez. Um, so I'm going to roll initiative for them. So wow, wow. is plus dex, which is two. So they are at 12. Uh, they have a 15 for dex. So put them at 12.15. They'll go before Octavian. Um, oh, let me add them. 12, um, 12.15, you said? Yeah. Let me number them so I can keep track of their... Yes. Actually, let me... Um, how many hit points do these things have? 37. All right. So when you attack them, Ellis, just tell me which one you're doing. I have health bars on them. Well, is Kate going to be okay if I attack? <laughs> uh, Cake's not here, so... I know, I'm gonna be bad. Don't worry, I'll message him privately every every time you hit one. Yeah. Hey, that, uh... That's 37 times 4. That's a lot of hit points that aren't gonna be thrown our way. Hmm, that's true. That's 148 hit points that aren't coming towards us. What's their AC? In Just theory. so we can do it fast. Uh, there are 14. Uh, yeah. I will put that in their, in their red bar. So if you just select them, Ellis, you'll see all their numbers. So you can oh, sure. see Thanks. current hit points. Uh, and then their red bar will be mm -hmm. their AC. Um, how much mana do they have? I'm just kidding. <laughs> they have no mana. They're not smart enough. They have all the mana. It goes you know, into their bites. Yeah. Um, you know how you like video essays, Justin? Yeah. Um, I watched some great ones about Fable 1, 2, and 3. Are they as good as you remember? They were very good. Yeah. A lot of nostalgia. I played all those. Yeah, I mean, three wasn't very good. Yeah, um, it was a little janky. Two, I thought was great. I love two. Two was great, except for the fact that they lied about the co-op. The fact that yeah. it's like, oh yeah, you can play as your hero in another player's game. Except no, you could. You played as a henchman that you could control the stats of. Yeah. But then they made that the the thing for three. Yeah, I didn't run into that because I I didn't have any friends who had that. <laughs> yeah, I re relate that. I, I don't have any friends. <laughs> Alright, well, that's B's action. She doesn't really have any bonus actions she could do. Great. She already has Shalele up, so uh, that's her. There are now some very angry dogs mm -hmm. ready to chow down. Um, excellent. Uh, as we reach um, initiative count 20. Uh, the archivist is going to call out, Some call me bookish, mocked me for my studies. I say to them now, Behold my power! You're talking an awful lot through that bull! <laughs> we'll, we'll see if he keeps his ego up when I fucking stab him in the back of the neck. Wow, there's a lot <laughs> happening. I'm gonna run up and count Dooku, that motherfucker. Um... Yo, straight up. <laughs> Let us see you cast spells without hands. Hmm. 
Uh, he is going to, uh, as you... Yes. I guess, you know, Octavian cuts his hands off and then, like, tosses them to safeguard. Like, hey, catch these hands. <laughs> yes. Hey, uh, the Arcana says, I- I'd like to see you cast a spell without hands. <laughs> uh, and safeguard just goes... <laughs> and blinks. Hans, are we the baddies? Um, as he says this, uh, a sphere of negative energy ripples out into a sphere around you, and everyone but Versailles needs to make a con save. <laughs> Gross. Con save? Yep. Yeah. Dang, I was just barely Yay! in there. Oh my god. Ooh. 24 for me. This would be... Damn, just a I, I am done with this game. Wow. Um, seven for B. Okay, so let me look here. Uh, Ren pass, safeguard fail, Octavian pass, Varn fail, Saloon fail, Octavian. That's a second roll by accident. Oh no, who's that uh, for? Uh, the other one is B. You can see it has her name under it. Are we being banished? Beatrice, yes, it no, does. This is banished is a cost I've. Um, oh, so, okay. uh, uh, folks who fail are going to take, uh, 30 necrotic. 30 necrotic. 30? And, and if you saved, <laughs> if, if you saved, it's 15 necrotic, not including resistances. It's how many Damn. necrotic? Uh, 30 and 15 30. on a save. 15. 30 right, damage. So I take, so I take seven because I am resistant. Oh, did you get the bot going? Yeah. Yeah, I told you. So Spotify's back up. It's been going. Wow, both. Okay, my music was playing at the same time, and it was a little, a little dissonant because something just like happened, and I noticed. I'm like, I'm listening to two songs at once. <laughs> okay, well, B is not doing so good. Let's see if you got the concentration on the on the wolves. She's got wolves. Through the pain, she keeps the wolves up. And oh, what's she doing? Does that uh, effect stay up, or is it like a one-time thing? Oh, that is a one-time thing. Let me double check something. Yep. So that. Um, and then he is going to take a step back in this direction. Uh, and from where you're standing, uh, you would notice that behind him there's actually this balcony, and you'll see some stairs going up. Uh, there, There is like a wall around it, and it's a little bit hard to see what's happening up there because it is very high. Um, but uh, you can see that there are there appear to be some figures on top of the balcony. Great. And I will fix that map in a minute, uh, and very quickly. Uh, no, that will do it. And then we are going to come to uh, Ortelia, uh, who's actually, uh, she has been watching the the procedures and and uh, uh, Vers- uh, Versailles not here. Damn it! Uh, who's playing Versailles? Varn. I am. Var- Varn. Uh, Versailles would notice this uh, this young. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This um, middle aged uh, human. Uh, her hair tied back. Her face looks a little bit gaunt. Uh, she would go. She comes up behind Versailles and she's gonna put her hands on her to kind of get her attention. And Versailles, with her passive perception, would notice that she's missing a finger on one hand. Um, and she would say, she would say, you must end this. You must destroy the four crystals to stop the ritual. Please, you must save us. Um, I'm fairly sure Versailles would look at her and go and say, where are these crystals? And she points down the end of the hall to those four motes of light around the flaming circle. So these right here? Correct. All right. Guess what? We have our targets. Versailles can telepathically relay that to all of us. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, she would go and pass that along. 
And then she would she would just kind of uh, slump back against the stone wall as she looks on with uh, uh, fear and trepidation at the proceedings, uh, which will bring us to Ren. That necrotic damage, Ren is going to kind of like, start to be like, did not like that. Did not like that. Ren is going to move. See, Ren is going to bonus action dash. Mm -hmm. uh, and use his action to punch. Okay. Falcon! Punch the guy who Took damage from before? Yeah. Uh, with that, he goes down. And he's going to use a kick on this guy. The guy behind him? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yep. And then he's going to use the rest of his movement, avoiding being within melee of this guy. Mm -hmm. Got it. He's like hiding behind the pillar. Got it. Excellent. And I'll mark off the key points. And that's me. Excellent. Uh, that brings us to the vigilant. Uh, these three are going to uh, engage with the dogs. Uh, they don't see any way out of that. <laughs> uh, and they're going to come up to. Uh, one. All according to plan. Yes, I know. It's wonderful. Uh, do this super duper quick. Uh, that is a 15, a 17, and a 7. So that'd be two hits. Yes. Uh, for a total of 12 piercing on that one dog. Total of 12. Yep. Oh, that didn't do as much as I, th I was hoping. Uh, over here, these three, uh, they're going to uh, rinse and repeat. They're going to say, uh, uh, attack, focus the hounds from hell. And they're going to uh, approach uh, this dog. Uh, very, very quickly. Uh, 7, 17, 12, 22. How many are there? Two hits. Two hits, and that is a total of 18 piercing uh, on the one okay. to the north. Uh, these two uh, are going to get in on the action as well. That one who looks a little bit damaged, they're going to just swarm him. Two more very, very quick hits with swords. Uh, 17 and a 7. Uh, one hit. One hit, and for eight piercing. Eight piercing. Uh, yep, okay. they're on the dogs. Uh, and that is... Oh, wait, there's this one guy left. Uh, he's going to come down. Uh, looking at Ren, he's like, uh, I'll take my chance with the dogs. And he's going to come up and try to get on that dog as well. That is a nat 20. Uh, and that is going to be an additional, with the crit, a 15 piercing on that dog. Ow. All right. Uh, HP sponges. Uh, that will be the. Um, that is the vigilant brings us back around to Versailles, who has just been given some strategic intel from a uh, familiar face. Um. Okay. Versailles going to go and take her first shot at the uh, first bolt or first crystal there. Uh, with um. Whatever the fuck it's called. Sharpshooter. Yep. Uh, that would be a 23 to hit. Uh, that would hit uh, for 9 piercing? No, that's 19 piercing. 19 piercing? Yep, sharpshooter. Okay. Yeah, Reduce 5, but add 10. And it's a plus 1 longbow, so it's magical. Mm -hmm. Yep. In case that matters. Um, excellent. Uh, the crystal uh, with, did you say 19 total? Yep. Okay, uh, the crystal looks as though it has uh, cracked. Alright, she's going to take a second shot at it just to make sure it shatters. Great. Oh, uh, that's a 15 to hit. Uh, that would hit. Alright, so that's an additional 18 damage. 18 damage. Where's the extra 10 damage coming from? The uh, sharp That's sharpshooter. Oh, I forgot sharp. Of course. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, so that would... Uh... I'm guessing she doesn't have a, a one built like Worm has for Varn. That doesn't... Yeah. Really yeah. Do 
Yeah, and we can't edit our sheet, so yeah. you have to do that. Otherwise, I would. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that would uh, you would you would see that crystal actually uh, crack, and as it does, it appears to release some energy. You might it has a similar look to when Octavian uses his radiant consumption. Uh, there's a little bit of like a shock wave that goes out, and as it happens, you would see again as it as it washes across, it fades out as it goes. Uh, you know, it doesn't come near Ren, but it fades out. But it does wash over the archivist and the uh, sphere around him once again uh, glows and it begins to crackle a little bit as this happens and if that is Versailles uh, that'll bring us to the dogs the dogs okay uh let's do the ones on this side first uh I'm gonna have the wounded one uh attack this guy right here sure um, and they have pack tactics, so they have advantage. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, so the 15 makes it a, with their, the hit is, uh, 20. Okay. So if that hits, it's 10 piercing damage. And yes. then if he is a creature, which I assume he is, uh, has to make a DC 13 strength save or be knocked prone. Ooh. Uh. Just starts munching on him. Dirty twenty, so they stay they stay standing. Yeah, uh, and this one is going to hit the guy in the corner there. Once again with pack tactics, natural twenty. Okay. Uh, so that's fourteen plus three is seventeen. This guy right here, just. Yeah, the one in the in the corner. Yep. yep. Uh, between them, so that's seventeen. Also has to make a strength save. Uh. What's the 38? The that's because I roll them two at a time. I'm just picking oh. which one to hire. And then sorry, sorry. Of that. I'm, I, 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 can't, I, can't I thought that was damage. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, I, I have the stat bulk open, so I'm just using the average damage. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Of course. Uh, he would. He would uh, fail. Uh, so he is knocked prone. All right. So the dog has him knocked prone. Uh, and these ones. So it's gonna kind of move up, kind of push that table out of the way, and mm -hmm. uh, start knocking right on that guy down there. Yep. Pack tac tactics again. Uh, 15. Uh, that would hit. Okay. 10 piercing. Strength okay. save. Yep. Uh, that is a 14. It's a 14. Uh, so that succeeds. Okay. Yeah, but he's damaged. Uh, let me double check what pack tactics. Uh, Tackle against the creature if at least one of the wolves allies is within five feet of the creature. Okay. Did you have something, Cobra? No. Okay. Um, all right, so to keep pack tactics, it's going to attack uh, mm -hmm. the, the guy above the other guy. Yep. Because um, I can't attack the guy up front because I would lose pack tactics. Well, I mean, I can, but mm -hmm. let's hit. Ugh, it's two. getting worse. Uh, so 14. Yep, uh, that would, what, 14? Uh, that would hit. Okay. All right, so 10 piercing damage, strength Got save. It. Got it. And a strength save, quick, quick. Uh... 17. Okay, succeed. Okay. So we got one prone. Uh, they are doing work. They're keeping them busy. Yeah. That's kind of the point. Mm -hmm. They've kind of cleared a nice path for safeguard, I just noticed. Yeah, that's also kind of the point, too. Mm. Distraction. Oh, because everybody in this part, they knew that safeguard was, whether there was peel or not behind them, Safeguard was just going to run at the archivists? Yeah. <laughs> yeah basically. That's funny. Uh, excellent. And uh, if that is the dogs, uh, it's Octavian. All right. I got speed. He's going for distance. He's going for speed. He's all alone in his time of need. Thank you, Ellis. Right, oh, bye. my God. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. Do I want to... this? Is looking a little rough over here. Looking a little rough, rough, raggy. Um. Hey, oh fuck it. I'm gonna run around the side. I'm gonna speed up and just slash this guy with my uh, with my weapon. With the hilt. Ah, gross. All right. Let's try it again. Ooh. Who are you? Oh, Where? God. Oh, that guy? 
Oh, the 12 Yeah, the guy at the corner. I rolled a 12. I don't think yeah. that hits. No, 12's bad. Yeah. I'll get him <laughs> out of the way now. I at least have something else to keep them occupied. But I can run around pretty easily. Um, I'm not wasting anything on them. That's me. Got it. Uh, fighters. Yeah, fighters. Uh, oh, oh, safeguard. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take the dash action. And I will fire. I wouldn't get too close to it. I don't give a fuck. Wow. Okay. Wow. I miss this step. And I am gonna. <clears throat> oh wait, I took the I took the dash action. So. But I'm here. I'm in your base. Killing your uh, and, and yeah, and I'm gonna, Mister Archivist. Somebody who is guilty, somebody who is a heretic. <clears throat> oh, sorry, sorry, I fucked that up. Would you like to hear a joke? He just glares at you. Somebody who is a heretic, a deceiver, and somebody who is guilty is going to be on my spear in about 30 seconds. The end. <laughs> <laughs> Barn calls out, Good story! <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, and uh, as you're ending your turn, mm -hmm. uh, standing there, you would take five fire damage. That's fine. Uh, is safeguard still up? I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Far from down. Yes. Um, let me think for two seconds. Uh, next is going to be Saloon. Saloon. Got it. Okay. Um, Same uh, old. I was going to say safeguard as you are so close. Um, let me check one thing real quick. Yep. And that's that. And that's that. Good, good, good. Uh, as you are there, uh, with a legendary action, the, uh, whole, the, the archivist is going to call out and say, um, <clears throat> First Spear, we're not quite done with you yet. Rosalyn, now! And you would see... <laughs> yes! Uh, you would see on the balcony uh, a female human figure in gleaming silver and white plate, her hair braided around her head like a crown. She emerges on the balcony, wielding a war hammer. And she uh, is uh, ready to go. Where is she? Here she is. Uh, and she emerges with more vigilant on the balcony. Uh, that'll bring us to Saloon. No, fuck to me, heretic. Is, is, is that fucking Mjolnir up there? No, he... <laughs> it's the animated spiritual weapon. That's right. Uh -huh. um, you want to add her to turn order? Yeah, I will. Dudes. Okay. And B has like no good offensive spells right now. It's not I mean, she, she's got four huge dogs keeping ten vigilant at bay. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can always do it again at third level and get two of them, but. She's more of a control caster, though. Yeah, but she doesn't have any of the good druid control spells prepared, is the thing. Well, then, the utility caster. Leave her alone. I know, I know. What do you I mean? She's, she's a carry mage. Yeah. She, she does, B does a lot of damage. She's a carry. It's a loon's turn, though. Yes, Saloon. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out something real fast. Mm -hmm. I will be right back. Where is it? If I take any damage, just tell me. I'm trying to like do the map on my Chromebook right now, so. Yeah. 
Well, if you need to know how far you can move, at about up to this row. Well, I've already moved. Oh, you have? Okay. Yeah. Uh, now I'm trying to see how far 120 feet is, like how far I can get. Uh, uh let me. Yeah, we can help yeah. you out with there. You can get like pretty much all the way to safeguard if you wanted. I don't want to hit safeguard. Well, I just mean to say if you draw a circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? No. Uh, I want an Eldridge Blast. I don't want to hit any of the puppies. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you're, you've got... If you're using Eldritch Blast, you're not going to hit the puppies. Yeah, you've got sight on these two guys close to Octavian pretty pretty clearly. Well, one guy's prone, so since it's a ranged attack, she'd have disadvantage anyways. Yeah, so this guy here is your best... Uh, is he pretty uh, bloody or nah? I don't know why I'm helping. Uh, that guy's not. not. Really. Yeah. Okay, I fi I I'm about to make him bloody twice. then. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that All was right. badass. Eldritch Blast. Well... Uh, <laughs> Does it hit? Twelve would not hit. Come on, rolls, get better. Okay, that's what I. That's better. Hit. Okay, 25. twenty-five. What? That's America. Okay, six. Okay. Uh, he's taking damage. damage. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I'll do better. <laughs> All right, and I believe that is my turn. Okay. Uh, brings us back around to the top to Varn. Oh, all right. Good old Varn. Yeah. Varn is uh, still on his knee here. Uh, so we're going to go and, having been told to blow up crystals, mm -hmm. we're going to blow up the left crystal. Because we can reach that. Mm -hmm. uh, scroll up here. There we go. Nope, that's a miss. Mm -hmm. Second yeah. shot. That's a miss, too. Mm. Varn is not shot. very happy right now. You can clearly hear Varn complaining in both your head and out loud. I bet. In head, it's all in goblin. Out loud, it's all in English or common. Ah, cool. So only your side can hear it. Mm -hmm. You can understand <laughs> yep. the in, in your head. That's funny. Uh, okay, so you made a couple of shots? Uh, yep. Okay. And uh, I don't think he's got line of sight on anybody else, so he's... Uh... No, you know what? He's going to use his... Uh... To use his uh, whatever the fuck it's called, uh, rally, hmm. and he's gonna go and let's see, you can use your bonus. Okay, so friendly creature you can see or hear, yeah, uh, da -da 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 -da. to give them temp HP equal to superiority die. Plus one, which I believe is a D8 currently. Yes, D8 plus one. Um, so let's see. Safeguard took damage, so we'll give it to Safeguard. Wow, fuck. All right, two HP. Congrats, uh, Safe. You got this. What did you do? Uh, rally. Oh, I see. One of the battle master abilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I can roll a superiority die with a plus one to go and grant temporary HP, and we did stellar with that plus two. Excellent. Uh, and that will bring us uh, to Rosalind, which is basically Barn just going and screaming out, "You can do it! <laughs> go safeguard!" Uh, and Rosalind will, uh, she is going to go ahead and cast, uh, it looks, appear, appears as though she's casting something on the archivist. Uh, and then, uh, you would notice this, uh, glimmering hammer is actually going to float down from the balcony, um, over in this direction. 
actually right here, based on where it was. Okay, good. Um, and uh, that is her for now. We'll bring us to B. Uh, Justin? Oh, sorry, I was um, oh, you're not something you're... out. That's okay. Uh, yeah, just uh, uh, take, so take your time, but it's B. Yeah. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. I definitely want to get B in a little bit more. So I'm going to get her in the room. Um, then... Uh, actually, can I just angle it a little bit differently in this direction? It should still be 30 feet that way. Uh, what are you doing? I'm just moving B. Oh, sure. sure. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to cast Thorn. She's going to cast Thorn Whip on the prone guy. Okay. Uh, so that means she gets advantage because it's a melee spell attack. Yes. So 24 for six piercing damage. Uh, on the prone guy? Yeah, the prone guy. Uh, would go down. <laughs> so like a thorn just like kind of <laughs> sprouts out of the table and just choking him. <laughs> 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 a dog ate one half of him and a thorn choked him to death. Um, but yeah, that'll, that'll be B. Uh, she'll just, you know, speak to the dogs. Be like, do it great! <laughs> Keep at it! Nice. Uh, and at, uh, initiative count 20, um, as a lair action, uh, from the center of the circle, um, would actually emerge, uh, two figures. Out of the shadows. Uh, out of the yes, out of the circle. Um, you would oh, see. Oh shit! Uh, two figures uh, are crawling out of the fire. Uh, he's actually summoning demons now. As two bearded devils emerge. Yeah, we need to start hitting those crystals. Working on it. Working on it. Fuck! I forgot about the crystals. Yeah, I was say people need to get upfield. And they would be at uh, and then the arc um, for the archivist turn he says ah uh, first spear is like here yes your bravery is truly inspiring too bad it is all for naught and he is going to cast reverse gravity on you what is the side for that um, there isn't one. Oh. The spell reverses gravity. Hold on to something tight. Uh, <laughs> there's like a deck save to be able to, if there is something grabbable within range to be able to grab onto something. Yeah, isn't that after you go up, though? Well, I think it's like as it takes, I, I don't know. I don't spell reverses gravity in a 50-foot radius, a uh, 100-foot high cylinder centered on a point within range. Uh, so you're going to fall Reaper upward? Creep mm -hmm. can make a dexterity saving throw to grab onto a fixed object it can reach, thus avoiding the fall. That is on okay. the initial cast. Yes. Otherwise, they go up. Yes, yeah, so a dex save. Okay. Now? Yes. Eight. Oh. Uh, you are uh, floating in the air. Um, okay. And obviously, there's a concentration spell. Uh, so you would actually, um, float up to the ceiling. Uh, 30 feet up, you would not take fall damage by hitting the ceiling. 
and you are slightly oscillating on the ceiling. Okay. Uh, and that is the archivist uh, bringing us to, oh dear, Ren. Who I saw measuring something a mere moment ago. Yeah. Ah, fuck it, Ren's like, you know what? Don't like this. Ren is going to throw a fully powered searing sunburst um, right here. At the back crystal? Uh, we'll, it, it's a 20 foot radius, so it's going to hit the archivist, all three crystals, and both devils. Okay. Ooh, nice. I don't know if they if the crystals take radiant damage. I don't know. They're supposed to make a 17 con save. I don't know how a crystal makes a con save. I don't know. You'll, that's the M yep. for you yep. to deal with. I mean, um, I don't know. Did you roll something, or can you just print it out? I will be rolling. I just want to find my thing. Oh, yeah, so it's a DC 17 con save, and it is 8D6 radiant damage. Okay. Uh, the Archivist is going to use a legendary resist to choose to save. Oh, then he takes no damage. Perfectly average damage. Perfectly balanced, this whole thing should be. Mm-hmm. Um, I posted the other the other day. It was like a uh, Wanda did nothing wrong kind of thing. <laughs> like you know, she like enslaved a town and murdered everybody. At uh, um, she did it for her kids, so it's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't have kids. I wrote. Uh, <laughs> she I wrote, made them up. She was just trying to get back to her children, as any mother would. What are you guys talking about? She has children. <laughs> she has goats. Goats? I don't know. She the only other thing I can know, or I know of, that it has a kid. Oh. Uh, uh, Ren, the world oh. is gaslighting you into thinking that Wanda didn't have kids before she went nuts. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ren, so, so this is a uh, yes. this is um, twenty eight damage. Uh, yeah, twenty eight radiant damage to whatever doesn't save. Okay, could you just draw the radius for me? I don't think I can. I mean, uh, hang on, let me. You centered it... it here? You need to hit these guys, so. Is it 20. Is it a 20 foot. 40 foot diameter, 20 foot radius from yeah, the center? Right, let, me, yeah. let me draw a circle. Put it, uh, I'll put it like. Okay. I mean, you don't have to worry about me at all. I'm uh, not. 30 feet out, so I don't think you're going to get hit either way. Yeah, that's what I want to so I mean, It's like I'm on the ceiling. Is it? Is it half on a successful save? No, on a successful save, there's no damage. Which oh, sucks. okay. Uh, so put it like that, so it hits all three crystals, both the devils, the archivist, and Rosalind. Wow, nice circle. Okay. Oh, great. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, from what you can tell, uh, Archivist sh- sh- shook it off. One of the devils uh, appears to have been affected. Rosalind appears to have taken the full hit, and the crystals appear unaffected. Figures. That is my turn. Ren, excellent. Bringing us to. I'm just gonna put the circle aside in case I use it again. The dog chow, uh, we'll call them. Uh, we're going to make a bunch of attacks. Let's look here. Quick, I'm gonna roll. Should it be rolled? Two, three. Uh, we've got uh, on this uh, dog here. Okay. Uh, we have uh, 15 piercing. Oh, she was slashing. 15 slashing. Sorry. And then on this one, okay. is that guy still alive? One. Okay. 
Uh, we have on that top one, we have 11 slashing. Okay, uh, that one dies. Mm -hmm. Which one did you tie the... Okay, tie the initiative to the bottom one, so I'm just going to delete them. Got it. Uh, and then, let's see, that guy... Uh, I'm going to delete... Reverse, this reverse gravity thing is going to bite this guy in the ass. Yeah. You think so? You're going to have some dents. <clears throat> no, uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna pick up Rosalind Levert. I'm gonna fucking misty step towards her, and when it pulls me back up, I'm gonna grab her by her hair. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, one, Safeguard two, the woman in Five. Um. They are bravely fighting the dogs. One, two, three, four, five. Uh. The top four all going in on that dog. A uh, total of. Six. 16 slashing. That one was going to go down. Uh, the other one is going to take five slashing. Out of five guys, that was three hits, two misses. Okay. I'm just doing it super quick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. fine. Um, and then uh, from up here, uh, we are going to have uh, these guys are actually going to. Yeah, they're going to make some uh, short bow attacks at Safeguard, who's oscillating in the air. Great. Super fun, right? Uh, a 12, a 17, uh, a 14, uh, 21, uh, 19? Does 19 hit safer? Um, it does right now. Okay. Usually it wouldn't, but it does right now. Okay. Uh, so that is... Um, actually, that's going to be a total of 18 piercing from three arrow hits. Can you draw, make a circle for the radius of reverse gravity? Yes, happy to. Um, what a great idea. I actually have a token for that. I mean, 50 foot radius is massive. I mean, it's like, it's going to be getting a lot of things, I think. That's, yeah, 50 foot radius is a 100 foot diameter. Um, huge. It is, uh, just to let you know, uh, this guy is a magical uh, hack, and he is able to adjust spells to his liking. So it is not quite that large. As you know, you know he is known for doing that. Um, oh, yeah, it's one of the edited spells that he's done. Interesting. It's more uh, targeted. I don't have, would you believe I don't have a token? Mm -hmm. of it's uh, artisanal reverse gravity. Yes, I thought it was out of uh, Xanathar. I mean, well, that's fine. Um, I'll just use this. That works. Hey, Alice. Yeah. Remember the old D and D cartoon uh, from the eighties? The old D and D cartoon. One second. Okay, cool. How's that? Everybody see that? How's everybody's frame rate? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Good for now. It's good. Perfect. Okay. Uh, great. So that is... What just happened? That was the Vigilant, and they shot at Safeguard. A couple arrow shots. Um, bringing us around to Versailles. All right. Um, Versailles is going to keep chipping away at, uh, at Crystals here. She's going to take a shot at this one. Okay. Oh, do, 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 do. It rolls. Yep, twenty-five would hit for eleven. Oh, I gotta go and scroll down. There we go. Um, uh, so yeah. that's an addition. So that's actually a twenty. Okay. But with uh, so that's twenty-one damage. Wow. Uh, this one over here on the right. Are... On the right. Uh, yeah, the right hand one. You just point at the left hand one. Uh, that's uh -huh. our, that's Justin. This one. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. I'm measuring. I, was... I thought that was funny because yeah. He said the right-hand one, and then someone pointed to the left. I got confused. Yeah, uh, you would notice that that has struck true, and the crystal's cracked. All right. Uh, then we're going to try to go and shatter that one with the second shot. Got it. Uh, oh, that's a miss. 
I'm thinking. Uh, uh, so that's 12. A 12. Oh, I thought it was 17. Uh, 12. Nope. Let me look here. No, all of these are yep. at uh, yep. long range with sharpshooters, so it drops five. Got it. Yep, that would miss. All right. That's it. Got it. Uh, from Versailles to the dogs. Doggies! Okay. Um, this one's gonna kind of scoot around a bit. Um, actually, no, it doesn't matter, because Octavian's not in range, so it won't get pack tactics off of that. So it's just gonna chomp down on him. Uh... Ooh, wait, I have my channel divinity. Hold on. Ah, there's nobody in range either. All right, I'm done. It's running. That's all I'm doing. Okay. All right, safeguard's turn. <clears throat> so I'm on the ceiling, right? Yes, you're oscillating. Can I, like... Pick myself up and like walk on the ceiling. No, she has proficiency in it. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'm worried for really myself. How'd I do? 19's pretty good. B yes. definitely did not succeed. Okay. Uh, B is going to take uh 26 psychic damage. Uh, Saloon will take 13 psychic damage. Uh, okay. And... How's B looking? She's at 41 out of 97, so she's a little under half or around half. All right, never mind. And, uh, mm. yeah. This so, one okay? The final. Uh, okay. uh, uh, from there, uh, let me think. So B failed. Uh, yeah. So B's uh, thoughts are muddled for one minute. Uh, can you yeah, roll a d6 minus... for B, please? Well, is she. It, it's every time she does a die roll, she reduces it by a d6. Okay, I thought you rolled it once, and that was just the number. Okay. Yeah. No, no. It's every time. It's like Bane or... And... As a layer action, uh, from the center of this flaming circle, where there is just simply... It is drawing all the power from this last remaining crystal... Uh, it appears to be, uh, it's just, uh, giving all it has. You see these, these tendrils of energy powering this circle and you see the archivist say, uh, he would say, now behold the extent of my power. I now call forth the only malevolent spirit that can break the wards upon the coven in the mountains. You banished her to the abyss, but tonight, Darragon returns! And from the center emerges a figure on horseback, a terrible visage, piercing yellow eyes peek from behind haggard gray hair. The mount is jet black with eyes like flame and hooves that sink into the stone floor with each touch, pools of molten stone dripping from them. It is indeed Mother Darragon on the back of the familiar unicorn, similar to Bastion, but this one a cruel, tortured mirror. And it appears to be phasing into existence, and it will be here momentarily. Okay. Means we got um, a crystal one round. Yeah. I don't know that there's a. Is there a crit success on a save? Uh, I, I mean, I it is a crit, so I don't know. I, th I thought that it was. I can look. Okay. So, yeah, that's a success. Uh, they would take uh, 13 seconds. And they'd be muddled as well. Uh, I don't oh no no no! It's a it's a it's a save. They're not muddled. Okay, so it takes the uh, the thirteen you said. Yeah. Yeah, Varn, are you are you? I'm just I'm trying to think of like. I think that's a home. I think that's like a like a table rule, like a like a house rule. Yeah, I would say it would be it would have to be a table rule because even if you roll a natural 20 that does not mean that it is an instant success in all cases yeah we'll say that the dog but yeah for the dog it's with a with a negative modifier to it that would also drop it out of the you know out of the critical range anyway so i mean yeah, I it's 
it's up to the table, I would think, at this point. Yeah, I think... So this... you as the DM decide. Yeah, the dog's Put done the something... Coin. The dog's done something truly exceptional here. Uh, very strange, but uh, that won't be our, our table. Yeah, I mean, that's that's cool. Yeah. Uh, great. Uh, and if that is... Uh, who is that? Oh, that, that was, was him. Artist. Great, Ren. Oh, boy. Just to be clear, you see this visage of the figure on, on horseback. Uh, it is not in existence. He's pulling it. Yep. Let's see him there's seven keys. Ren is going to move up. He's going to uh, use a key for his technical flurry of blows, and he's going to do a radiant sunbolt, one at each of these four guys over here. Okay. Wow. Nice. So, top to bottom. Cool. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, you would have uh, killed the bottom two. But still good. You see Ren just flying this, this radiant energy. It's, it's just flying out out of his feet, right? Uh, yeah, he's doing like jumping spin kicks. Yeah, knocking two of the Vigilant down. They're not getting back up. I'm just trying to get the rest of the party in the fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just, this map is so big and we're really spread out. Been wanting to do something with B, but everybody's too far away. Uh, yeah, is that Ren? Yeah. Um, okay, so these two guys uh, are going to... Uh, these two guys are going to... See, seeing this, seeing two of their friends fall, uh, they're going to approach Ren. We all know they're suicide, but whatever. Uh, and they're going to make a couple of attacks, uh, short sword attacks on Ren. Uh, uh, two misses, a 24. Uh, okay, that's one, I believe a 24 would hit. The other three, yeah. three attacks miss. Uh, and that is going to be, uh, that is nine slashing to Ren. Okay. Uh, and they're all up in your business. Uh, these, these other folks here, uh, again, Seeing what's happening, uh, the last remaining vigilant uh, are going to uh, approach. Direction. Hold on here. Let me just measure something. I don't want to cheat. No, I'm good. Uh, and then this one. Yep. Okay. Uh, they're going to approach B. Uh, and we've got some attacks coming in on B, coming in hot. Uh, we've okay. got a 17. Uh, let me check B. Yep. That just hits. Okay, a six uh, Miss. and a fifteen. Miss. Ooh. Okay. Um, and that would be a total of nine slashing. Okay. Uh, and then we got these dudes up here. Uh, they are going to go. Oh boy. <laughs> these two guys. Do you want to attack Octavian or Safeguard? Both terrible options. Um, yes. Both very terrible options. Yes. Uh, let me read one thing. Yes, uh, Rosalind would, of course, have designated the Vigilant to be unaffected by her spirit guardians, and these two will approach. Um, uh, this one will occupy the, uh, the same space as the hammer for a moment. Um, can they end their turn there, the hammer? I think uh, they can. No, it takes up the space. Okay, well, this they can, is good. They can enter, but they have to leave before the end of the turn. Got it. Understood, which would be an opportunity, but we'll deal with that in a minute. Uh, to say, uh, to, uh, what the hell's your name? Safeguard. Uh, that is a 17 to hit from that guy. And a 22. A 17 and a 22. 22 hits, 17 does not. Okay, that is. You guys all of a sudden get two attacks. Oh, wait, did I say 17 hits, 22 does not? Other way around. Yeah, no, they've had multi attack the whole time, they've been doing two attacks. So they only been choosing to hit the wolf once? They were... I was rolling twice. 
weird because I swear you when there were like six of them on this one, they only rolled six attacks. But whatever. Yeah, I remember they were shooting two arrows when they had short bows. Mm, okay. But uh, okay. So anyway, that is uh, seven slashing to safeguard this guy. What can he do? Can he get over here? Uh, he's gonna come up here. Uh, and he is going to. It's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Interesting. Uh, 17 and a nat one. Both miss. Okay. Uh, these two guys are going to attempt to waylay. Uh, this guy's going to attempt to waylay Octavian. Uh, short sword attacks to Octavian. Uh, that is a 12 and a 21. 21 hits. Excellent. Uh, nine slashing to Octavian. And this guy uh, is going to do the intelligent thing uh, and pin safeguard in. Uh, surrounded. That is, a nat that is a crit to safeguard with that first hit. Uh, that, is, that is seven slashing to safeguard. Seven, eight, nine, ten slashing total. And a miss. To finish it, hopefully. No! Fuck! A 13 goes wide! Uh, actually, that is an 8. An 8. Yes, that would be quite... <laughs> yeah. Much sadness. Um, if that is Versailles? That is. Brings us to the dogs, the remaining dogs. Alright, give me one second. Um... Actually... Uh, I'm going to clean up the bodies, if you don't mind. Just make sure you don't delete the one that has the initiative on them. Yeah, good point. I'm just going to leave them for now. Uh, all right, so the dogs. Um, this one here with pack tactics is going to chomp down on the wounded one. Mm -hmm. So it's 16 is the highest, so it's a total of 19. 19 to or hit, no, yes. Or no, 20, 21. I can't uh, the one who already took damage? Yeah. Uh, yeah. They would succumb okay. to the wounds. All right, uh, and that's yeah, that's that's that dog. Uh, okay. This one's gonna run up. It's got fifty feet. It's gonna get next to Ren, uh, and it's gonna chow down on the wounded guy. It's no, go for, yeah, go for the ones on B. You sure? Okay. Yeah, Ren's fine. All right, then I'll go over here get pack tactics on the guy on the left. Okay. Oh, uh, it's... I did not click two. All right, doesn't matter. Can't hit it. Can't hit shit in Detroit. Uh, when the dogs are done, Octavia. All right. Uh, my turn. All right. So with the way that this map is like, do I actually have enough space to move between this guy and here? It's kind of isometric a little bit. Um. So those pillars, uh, they go like up to the ceiling. Right, but like because it's kind of angled, do oh, I yeah. actually have enough space to like move around him this way? Uh, yeah. Okay. Then in that case, uh, I am gonna go over here and with the massive amount of speed that I have, leap off the edge and try to hit the crystal on my way down with the hilt. Nice. Uh, so that guy can hit me for an opportunity attack if he wants. Yeah, he would just take a quick slash with his short sword. Uh, for a seventeen. Uh, miss. All right. Now, um. Bonus section mid air. I'm gonna fighting spirit. Mm -hmm. Wow! So I have advantage on this attack. Let's go! All right. Don't miss. Twenty eight. Thirteen force damage and an additional nine because it's the first hit I make. Um, as you as the hilt comes in contact with the crystal. Um, you would notice that it just disintegrates in the beam of the hilt. Um, okay. at, um, as it happens, uh, the archivist yells, No! And uh, the, the figure of this old woman astride this jet black steed with eyes like fire seemed to crackle into view for just a moment. The horse, as it was about to make contact with the stone floor, begins to disappear, leaving only a low moan of pained rage to echo in your ears and against the walls of the throne room as this figure goes back into the abyss from whence it came. And the summoning circle 
is snuffed out. Then I'll say, We already killed you once! Back to hell where you belong, preacher! But that was just my first attack. I still got a little bit more movement, so as I kind of <laughs> land and slide, I'm going to spin around with advantage. I'm going to hit the Archivist. Wow. Let's go. 11 force damage. I'm dropping a smite on that. So we're going to do 2d8, an additional 13 radiant damage. Wow. Okay. Uh, and I hit him and kind of like like a lightsaber just like kind of like slice across his body I'm just gonna look at him and go i've been wanting to do that since we came across uh i've been wanting to do that since i'm since we laid out bleh, damn it i've been wanting to do that since the moment we met in the holy justice mm -hmm. is what i say oh but guess what folks we're not done action surge we're going all in. Once more with feeling a total of 20. Additional 9 force damage. Um, with a 20, uh, he's going to use his reaction to cast shield. Okay, so that makes it not hit. It would. Okay. All right, we'll try it again. Just roll high. Not 17. Ah, Never okay. Mind. Um... Does she stay active just for that first hit or for the rest of the... Uh, it's for the round. So once it comes back okay. to his turn, it goes That's what away. I thought. Okay, good. Yeah, so with the 17 with the shield up, uh, that would... Mm -hmm. Excellent. As Octavian has 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 dove around the Vigilant and was attempting to block his path, diving off of the balcony, bringing the hilt down onto the final crystal... It shatters, disintegrating, removing the looming threat from the Nine Hells as the Archivist is now face-to-face -face with Octavian. And that brings us to Safeguard. Okay. <clears throat> Safeguard uh, will do... <clears throat> uh, remind me of the spell casting order. I can't cast a bonus action spell if I cast an action spell, right? Um, super uh, quick... Um, Hold on, safeguard. There's one thing I need to I need to resolve. I this is my fault. I apologize. Uh, this vigilant would have had to move out of that space, so you'd get an opportunity to attack on him because of the spiritual weapon. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'll take it. Yeah. I forgot to resolve that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Uh, okay. So the seven so uh, nine seven seven two. Uh, one and six. Or I don't know which is I don't know which is which on those. Um it's one and three. Okay. Uh what's the total? Uh so it would be sixteen? Um yeah, yeah fifteen. Fifteen, okay. Great. Uh so yes, I apologize, please. No worries. Um and then I would start my turn. I, my question was never answered. Yes. If I cast a bonus action spell, I need to cast it first, right? Uh, I know we, I know we don't really give a shit about that, but you, well, no, no, you can do your action and bonus action in any order. But if you cast a bonus action spell, you cannot cast an action spell and vice versa, unless it's a cantrip. Okay. Um. Then I will cast um, Shield of Faith on myself as a bonus action, mm -hmm. and I will dump 55 points of Lay on Hands into myself. Wow! Let's go. Is that all of them? Actually, wait, no, 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 no. I don't cast Shield of Faith on myself. That's fucking stupid. Um, I am going to... Um... What is my other fucking channel divinity? Uh, I'm going to use Vow of Enmity on Rosalind Lopert, which gives yes. me advantage on her. There you go. And that will last until one until of she dies. dies, or or it's a minute or until she drops to zero hit points. Yeah. And uh, that'll be my turn for now. Okay. I'm setting up something huge. Oh, huge. Boy. Huge. 
How's that person I crit looking? Uh, they're looking bloody. Okay. I'll do a little of that. Wait, V has a spell scroll in her inventory? Oh, that's the find the path. That's right. That's right. Forget about me. I wish you could be like, oh yeah, it's this. You can set it to be like what spell it is, and it would tell you what it is. If you rename it, you can. Okay. Well, I can't because it's her yeah. cheat, so. <laughs> Uh, also, as as Safeguard like puts their hand on themselves and dumps all his healing into them, into themselves, they will shout, "I will bring justice to the world, this world, no matter the cost." Um, and as you do that, uh, we will need a wisdom save. A wisdom save. Oh, I'm I'm getting legendary actions. Uh, no, 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 from the spiritual guardians. From the what? The spirit, spirit guardians, guardians that Levert has active. Oh, I didn't know that she had a spell active. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's what the aura is. Yeah. Thirteen. Um, that's, that's nuts. I rolled a thirteen with a plus five. Hmm. Uh, let me look. Uh, you would take uh, sixteen necrotic. Jesus Christ! Oh, well, she's necrotic. That means she's evil. Yeah, she's she's a big old oathbreaker. I mean, she's not a paladin, but like still. The, the class changed from like light cleric to death cleric or something. Uh, and the brings us, I believe, it brings us to the bearded devils. Yeah, uh, who have not received the reinforcements that they were promised. Uh, and lol. we, huh? I <laughs> said lol. Get yeah, you, idiot. Uh, eighteen. Uh, Uh, 18 and a dirty 20. What do you got? Safeguard. Like it's an 18 with the beard. Oh, uh, sorry. Okay. Fucking, what, what hit me? Uh, his beard. <laughs> he hit you with the beard for 18. 18 damage or 18 to hit me? Eight, eight, 18 to hit. <laughs> uh, that misses. Okay, what about a dirty 20 on the glaive? Um, That hits right now. Okay, uh, eight slashing and a con save, please. A con save? Yes, please. On the glaive. Can I ask for what? Uh, on the bearded devil's glaive. A 17 uh, would pass. Excellent. Yeah, be uh, bearded devil's glaive have a unique property to them. Yeah. Ah, uh, got it. And then that is a 12 and a 18. You said misses? 18 misses? Yeah. Okay. Uh, those are the bearded devils. Oh, saloon, are you still awake? You still here? She's muted, but it seems like it. Saloon? I'm still here. I oh, unmuted hi. this, Sorry. but didn't unmute my mic. Yeah. No problem. It is your turn. Um. Yeah, so I would like to use my movement to get... Sorry. One moment. Okay. I want to move 30 feet. All right, here. What's up, dead guy? Okay, and then I want to use Eldritch Blast mm -hmm. on uh, Does Ren need help first? Yeah, if you can get them off, it would free him up for movement and without taking attacks of opportunity. Okay. I want to use my Eldritch Blast on one of them. Which one is damaged? Uh, the, the one, one with the dot on it. Yeah, the one with the dot. That's what the dots mean. Okay, how does he look? Is he, like, bloody? Yeah, he's or bloody, is yeah. He... Yeah, he's, 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 he's almost dead. The red dot, the, like, dark red dot means they're almost dead. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank me for setting that trend. We did that all through Vigilantes. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, so I want to go ahead and use my first. I go ahead. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm neurotic. It it helps me to, you know, just visually indicate enemies without showing health bars and shit. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yep, that is a hit. Okay, then. Uh, roll damage. I'll go ahead. Yeah. Eleven. Yeah, that one would go down. 
Okay, and what? the guy, the other guy. Mm -hmm. Other. F okay, ignore that. Ignore that. Ignore that. That would have been great, but yeah, twelve doesn't hit, right? Uh, the twelve would go a little bit wide. Uh, Ren, you see Saloon uh, walking down the the stone uh, through the stone throne room, uh, firing one uh, moat of an eldritch blast, knocking down one of the foes. That you're and then uh, I want to use my bonus action to drink this potion up. Oh, great. Is that the, the greater? Yes, it's the only one I have. <laughs> yes, that's 4d4 plus 4. Yeah. Would I roll the 4d4 <laughs> on roll 20? Yeah. 4. Yeah, 4. Okay. And then add 4 to that, and that's how much you heal. A 15? Yep. Yeah. Thanks, Octavian. This stuff is pretty gross, but thank you. It'll keep you alive. I I met, I say into the the telepathic bond. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, that was definitely telepathic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's not supposed to taste good, but it's supposed to keep you alive. I've always imagined health potions taste kind of like like cherry cough syrup or something. Same, like I, you know, like sh straight up, I feel like health potions taste like um, you know, dissociation and um, and cough suppressant. Mm. Uh, does anybody remember Dimetap? I love no, that. Yeah, yeah, it was like a grape. Uh, so cold good. medicine. I'd, like, I'll fake it. I'll fake it. Yeah, so it was so good. <laughs> what happened to that stuff? Did they get rid of it? I think you can still buy it, but I don't know. I just right remember. Before I finish. Oh, sorry, still. Sorry, go ahead. No, please. <laughs> uh, right before I finish, I'll, like, stay in my head. I'll be like, Ren, you okay? <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Okay. She'll give you a thumbs up. Then she'll look forward to the battle ahead. Uh, from Saloon brings us to Varn. Alright. Um, well, now that everything's starting to fall, uh, Varn is going to begin moving forward. Uh, so let's see. Do, 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 do. I think that's roughly six right there. Yeah, close enough. That's, that's, uh, he's moving that far. Um, and the archivist has a shield up currently, correct? Uh, he does. Until I believe the start of his turn. Mm -hmm. yeah. I believe Varn can beat it. Okay. Yeah, without a uh, sharpshooter, probably. Uh... Varn rolls 30s all the time. <laughs> No, this has to be sharpshooter. Still, he's still outside of uh, 100 feet. No, you don't have to use sharpshooter. Yeah, but that would still go in at disadvantage. No, the sharpshooter feat gives you the other attack option, the the penalty to hit with damage, but you don't have to take that attack um, to gain the other benefits of sharpshooter. So you always have the ignores cover, ignores three to half cover. Uh, and uh, you ignore the the long range penalty. Really? Yeah, no. yeah. Sharpshooter is fucking dope. They're unlinked abilities. Well, in that case. <laughs> well, when you put it like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. All right. One. I feel like I feel like that would be a good way to bounce. Ooh. Let's go. Ooh, what did I just say? Varn rolls a lot. <laughs> uh, like I said, I believe he can get past that shield. Uh, I feel like that would be a good way to balance out the, the feat, because it is objectively yes. the best thing for a ranged character. But, so it's 15? You know, yeah. It's a bullshit feat. Yeah. But I, uh, as a player, I like how bullshit Okay, so is. yeah, that's um, 15 damage there. And round two. A pew. Uh, still a 29. Uh, 29 would hit. 
<laughs> All right, so that's an additional eight. Okay. Uh, and I, given where I'm standing right now. Do 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 do. These look like they're baddies still, yeah. 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 Bee's looking a little rough. Where's like Bee? Dripping her head a little bit. She's right here. She's right in the middle. She's in between the dogs. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um. We're gonna go and take the one farthest away from the doggy, this one, and we're gonna go and hit it with the uh, with the little arcane cannon. Just gonna pop what? your noob tube at it. <laughs> oh, so that's another seven on top of that. So fifteen? No. Yeah, fifteen. Um, fifteen to hit. Yeah. No. Oh. It does? With the shield. Well, yeah, yeah, it would miss. No, 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 okay. he's attacking this one. It, the the Archivist is too far out of range for the Arcane Ballista. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the Arcane Can is hitting. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ball. You're shooting this one right here? Yeah, that would hit. Uh, 15 would hit. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is it here? Fucking let me roll it. God damn it. There it is. Eight damage. Okay. You should have a. Uh, you, you can click the icon next to the name of it, and that should uh, roll. There is no icon point. next to it, actually. Really? Is there not? There's one for my guy that I was using. No. Weird. It's it depends might on, be it, attached it depends on to... where you're, you're looking. There's like a couple places to find it in your character sheet. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at the all actions. Yeah, it's um for my Actually, artificer that I played. It's under bonus actions on the main action page. Yeah, it's not there under bonus actions either. All I have is the beyond twenty uh, link that lets me click in the text. Huh. Weird. Yeah, because unless I, maybe it has I like a little, aim. it has like a little icon of like a hand and like something shooting out of it, and I can click that. See like this. No. See that's horrible. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have that uh, included for some reason. This is weird. Maybe it's, um, did you choose the the actual, like, Eberron artifacts? I'm going to keep dude? combat going. Yeah, all right. yeah, yeah, keep it going. It's fine. That's fair. Uh, great. I'm not overly worried about it. Yeah, uh, it is It is fun theory crafting later, though. I like it. Uh, is that Varn's turn? Yes, that is everything. Uh, with a legendary action, uh, the archivist is going to uh, disengage and get some movement. Uh, I ignore disengage because I have Sentinel, so I'm going to hit it anyways. Okay. Ooh, that's a crit. Get fucked, bitch. Oh, so okay. sixteen plus six for the damage, and his speed is zero. Let me double check for the duration. I don't know if it's just his oh. turn or if it's still my turn. That's a that's a hit, uh, Paladin, sir. I believe you can. I can only, I can only smite on my turn. This is a reaction. Oh really? Yeah, you Damn. can only smite on your turn. I thought it was Let's any see. hit. Nope, only uh, on your turn. When you Damn. hit a creature on your turn, uh, when you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, the creature's speed becomes zero for the rest of the turn. Creatures provoke opportunity attacks even if they take the disengage action before leaving your reach. So he Ow. tries to book it, and I just stab him in the leg, and he stops moving. You think I learned from right, my mistakes at one point? <laughs> <laughs> I'm banking on you not learning. I forgot about great. that. Well, it's also it's like it's like really late. I forgot. It's all good. It's why, uh, it's why I picked the feet. Octavian is a wall, and you get stuck next to him. Yes. Sure, the archivist doesn't know he's got that feet. That's a great point. Yeah. That's a great. Wouldn't yeah. it have been meta knowledge if I knew if he knew that? That's a great point. Yeah. It would have been, it would have been like cheating. He, he, he only ever talked to me for a brief period of time. Yeah, that's right. And when we assaulted his carriage, we weren't level four yet. That's um, when I took the feet. Yeah, so uh, with uh, uh, moving over to uh, Rosalind, uh, she is going to use her main action. She's going to channel divinity, uh, and she is going to uh, you you notice some of her wounds closing up. Safeguard as she's so close to you. Um, great, and uh, with her bonus action, we're going to make an attack with the uh, spiritual weapon. Um, which is going to be great. Uh, that is, uh, what is it? Uh, on a hit. Okay. Uh, where the hell's my D20? There it is. 
uh, with the spiritual weapon uh, that is a 19. Meets. Ooh. And then that is force damage, which would be equal to uh, 8 force damage. Um, and that is... That is her turn, and that will bring us to, uh, hold on, uh, between, yeah, uh, between the turns, the archive is going to take a legendary action, and we are going to uh, misty step uh, right after. Hmm, all right, cool. He gets three Did per you? round, he gets three per He's round. He's learning. <laughs> <laughs> um, excellent, and that's B. Save you from me. All right, uh, B, 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 B. Uh, how's the guy looking that Varn with his underrail shotgun? Uh, which guy was that? The middle guy here. Oh, uh, the middle one, yeah. Uh, he's looking, uh, like he took a hit with an arrow. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I figured. Um, he, lo he looks like a guy who just got shot with a, a, a bolt that a goblin shot. Hmm. I mean, at this yeah. next point, Varn's just going to go and start laying waste to these little guys if he can't see mm. the other guy. So, uh, since she's in melee, she's going to do a, a thorn. She's going to do a, a thorn whip on him. Ugh, an eleven. Yeah, she has the muddled thoughts too. It's not going to hit anyway, so. No. Um, trying to see what else. Oh, you know what? Should have had her wild shape, but mm, I already rolled. I don't really have any. Let me double check. Um, doesn't she have? Oh, oh, she's got the hidden step. She hasn't used that yet. So she's going to actually, as a bonus action, do her hidden step. Uh, which means she turns invisible until the start of her next turn, or until she, you know, does any offensive action. Okay. Uh, so, while she's invisible, she's gonna... Does she get to move as part of it? No, she just turns invisible. Alright, so she hasn't used her movement, so then she's gonna move... Uh, basically to the other side of this pillar. The other guys can make opportunity attacks, but they are disadvantaged because they can't actually see her. Okay. They take that opportunity. Uh, explain it again. So she uses her hidden step racial feature, which yes. makes her turn invisible until the start of her next turn. And okay. then after she used her action beforehand, doesn't break invisibility, um, she moved. So if those two guys want to attack her, because they can kind of hear her moving away, mm -hmm. they can, but they have disadvantage. Okay. Because she's invisible. Okay. Uh, with disadvantage, miss. And with disadvantage, a 16. Still a miss. She's okay. a 17. Cool. Okay, cool. All right, let's be. Let's be. Uh, bringing us to the archivist, uh, who's now up on the platform. Um, um, he says, and he would say, he would say, um, Rosalind, bring him down quickly! I'll take care of the others! And you know what You know what time it is, boys and girls. Oh, B. B is so goddamn lucky. Because she's invisible? No, because she moved. Oh. <laughs> is it fireball time or something? What time? No. What time? Fireball? That necro shot that we got hit with. Um, you know what's fun? Fireballs are fun. Oh boy! Uh, so that's gonna be the dog saloon and ran. All right, doggy. Yeah, fireball is fun. No damage. Mm. <laughs> I'm resistant to fire, so it's half damage. Yep. Okay. So half of whatever you take. 
All right, so what, are, what am I rolling? Duck save. Duck save. Okay. Uh, let me roll for the. Okay. Sixteen. You pass. Um, on a sixteen, no. Okay, the wolf fails as well. Fine, it's fine. Okay. Damage uh, do I save? Uh, what? If it makes you feel any better, you probably failed by like one or two. Yeah, it was so close to being a twenty-two. Cause her her spell save DC is either seventeen or eighteen, based on what level she's at. No, that's coming from the archivist. Oh, I thought that was coming from the cleric. Nope. Rosalind already went. All right, so how much damage are we taking, Ellis? Yep. Uh, that is. Uh, let me look here. On a uh, saloon would take uh, 33 fire damage, so halves would be 16. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, just got that back. Uh, and, and then uh, the dog would take uh, 33. Right. Uh, the dog is at zero. This one is the initiative order one, so I'm just gonna move off to the side. I might also re-summon them later. Sure. Did you say 16 or 17 though? Uh, what's half of? Uh, 30, uh, if six, you round down 32 and then have that, basically. Yeah, good. So, so it's 16. Yeah, okay. 16. Yeah, I just got that bad. Well, I should have had to that potion. Uh, yeah, nice, nice I would have definitely been dead by now. And I saved Ren, by the way. You can, took damage, you could do Thank your you. escape and move forward. Oh, that is true. Or, and wait, how? Yeah, and you're invisible until the start of your turn. Hang on, I kind of want to... No, he's too far. Yeah, okay. I'll miss the escape. Thank you. Yeah, so you can move up to 60 feet with that. Do you want to move kind of like up over here or maybe uh, like by the table or something? Yeah, right behind the table probably. Okay. Freak, hang on. Ah. It's like here-ish probably. Beep. And you are invisible. Um, believe are you right? Until the, believe until the start of your turn. Uh, so if that is the archivist, uh, is what what is Saloon doing? Misty escape as a reaction? Yeah, yeah, it's her warlock, yep. her warlock patron ability. So she is invisible until the start for next turn. Okay. Uh, and with the summoning circle down uh, as a lair action, uh, Versailles would notice that there is some vigilant coming in from the doors you came in behind her. Oh, fuck. Fucking dickheads. Alright. Good to know. Uh, is that Versailles' turn? No, that would go to Ren. Okay. How's that look? Perfect. Uh, max level of radiant uh, or searing sunburst. Okay. Everything in the circle needs a con save. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Uh, what's the deal? Do I fail? Yeah, you fail. Fuck. Hey, good thing you healed yourself and you didn't really take a lot of damage. So. Uh, yeah, I did. Oh, did you? I took like I took like forty-two damage, dude, in one turn. Oh shit, okay. Well, I think B's gonna be on standby for a big heal. Uh, no, nah, it's fine, I'll be okay. Uh, how many guys? Oh, there's uh, two dudes and then the two things? Okay. So, Archivist, Rosalind, both Bearded Devils, and all three Vigilant. Yep. Anyone mm -hmm. who fails takes 33 Radiant. There's three Vigilant? Oh, jeez, okay. And the Devil, what do they have for... Okay, yep. Oh, jeez, okay. Um. So, 33 on a fail, half on a save? Uh, no, no damage on a save. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Archive is saved. Rosalind failed. Uh, one Vigilant saved. Two failed. Both Devils failed. I think I'm okay. <laughs> I think I'm okay. I'm at 70 hit points. I'm at like half health. Okay. Friends popping up those the fucking spirit bombs. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for level eleven for so long. It's such a cool ability. Mm -hmm. I just hate the like it's 
save or suck. Oh, yeah. It's not half damage. I feel like it really should be. There's plenty of other radiant AoE of damage effects that are half damage on a save. So, that's just dumb. Oh, monks are already too strong. It's like, nah. nah. They're supposed to be fast. So one of the devils had already failed the first one. Yeah, they haven't really hit much, so... And we don't really know how much health they have. Uh, yeah, so the one... Which one? The one to the left is looking like they're clinging to life. The other one looks pretty bloody. That's pretty much all Ren can do, but Ren's just going to stare down this guy and be like, I think you want to fuck off about now. Hmm. <laughs> points you're next um let's uh let's deal with uh these two first uh they're gonna get uh on versailles and we're gonna go 16 on versailles um hang on i think it's a hit yeah hit okay and so that is uh four attacks uh two hits uh total of 10 slashing all right. Uh, and then up here, uh, north to south, these two quickly are going to attempt to get rid of this dog. Uh, that is, wow, that is two crits and three hits. Dog is dead. Okay. Uh, against uh, go ahead and just delete it. Yep. Go ahead and delete it. Uh, yep. Against Ren, uh, 16 and a 21. That second one hit. Okay. Uh, and that is and would take 11 slashing. Uh, and then who else we got? These guys up here. Uh, this guy, uh, he's going to make a sh short bow attack against Octavian. Uh, that is a net one. Uh, bitch. Uh, 22. That'll hit. Nat one and an 18. Uh, Octavian takes six piercing. And quickly, okay. one, two, three. Um, for safeguard, wow. Um, okay, uh, okay, uh, three misses, uh, a 19? I keep forgetting. 19 hits. 19 hits, and then I get a 21, and then a miss. So you get two hits uh, on the slashing. Do you uh, need any con saves? Uh, not from the vigilant, no. Um, no. Oh wait, it's the vigilance turn. Okay. Yeah, that would be a uh, nine. Oh, right, the devils go after me. Yep. Uh, nine slashing to safeguard. Uh, I'm going as fast as I can. Versailles. Uh, Versailles goes in, pulls her short sword with her offhand, and takes a swing at this one. Mm -hmm. uh, do, 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 do. Roll. There we go. Uh, 11 to hit. Yeah. Uh, short sword, uh, 11 would miss. All right. And second swing, 17 to hit this time. 17 hits for five damage? Five damage, yep. Okay. Uh, two, the dogs are all gone? Yeah, looks it. Yeah, okay. Uh, Octavia. Oh, I was muted. Yeah, you can get rid of the dog's initiative order if okay. I summon them again. I have to reroll. Sure. All right, my turn. How uh, high up is this ledge? Can I, like, reasonably scale it? Uh, that ledge is about 12 feet high. Mm. Vertical jump, though, for me, I think is... Um, what is it? It's, like, 5 plus half your strength modifier or something? That sounds right. Let me look. Jump. Nope, that's the spell. Handy dandy jump calculator. What is your strength score? Uh, my strength score is 18. And maybe is about 6 feet tall. Uh, your high jump is 7 feet off the ground. You can reach and grab something 16 feet off the ground. So you can jump and probably grab the ledge and pull yourself up. 